I'm sure there's some basketball player out there who has a biography that you could probably get read to on audible.com. I don't know why I was thinking of basketball. Because of Space Jam. Oh, no, but you were doing... Y'all ready for this? Yeah. And then I made it oh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Because they're very similar songs. Anyway, welcome to the Media Hole Podcast, where we're sponsored by Audible. Go to audibletrial.com slash media hole to get your free 30-day free trial, including one free audio book. There's over 180,000 to choose from, uh, and you can listen to them on your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle, or any other device that plays MP3 files. Perhaps even a computer. Uh... Thank you so much, Audible. Once again, audibletrial.com slash media hole. Ch- check it up. Sick. <laughs> well, the media hole podcast is a weekly podcast in which uh, we talk about uh, all the news and things happening in video games and movies and, and real life and other things and comic books and what have you. I'm joined as always. I'm Nathan, joined as always by my co host and lover, Ian. I thought we were going to tell people about that. Yeah, you already made that joke. We uh, we tell it. We do it every week. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, breaking news. Not really. I saw this earlier on TikTok, but didn't know if it was real. TikTok will be banned from the U.S. app stores from Sunday. <gasps> oh boy! So that's the twentieth. So that'll be mon- That'll be yesterday when you listen to this. Yeah. Also, um, Trump says the U.S. will have a hundred million COVID vaccines by not April contradicting the cdc director cool also did you see the other thing he did the education the e- executive order called the, the 70, 1776 commission or whatever the fuck to make americans more patriotic aka brainwashing double down on propaganda in schools sign me up yeah that sounds like some north korea shit that sounds like some america shit that was already happening and they you've just doubled and tripled down on it yeah also some canada shit to be honest i'm but sure there's gonna no be like, commission to do it i'm so, sure they're gonna fucking might, might even just like omit the fact that we burned down the white house and just be like and the canadians burned down some oh, they are, house hold it wasn't on important. they already do that yeah i know <laughs> nobody knows america totally won the <laughs> vietnam war <laughs> we won damn it what else? What else do they straight up lie about? Oh, yeah. did you ever see the one where it was like a history textbook where it was like, yeah, and so some African American volunteers came over, um, yeah, found seen. in I chains. Saw that. Don't know why. I don't know why they were in chains. They were just they volunteered to come here, and it's like, don't worry. There's a, it's already fine if you per, have have no evolution talk in your text science textbooks in America. I don't think we even had evolution talk. In yeah, ours. we did. I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, dude, I went to a Christian themed school. Yeah, but you also did. went to a expensive school. <laughs> <laughs> I went to public school where the books I had were from 1998. <laughs> and I went to school I got, in 2010. Hold on. I got a couple 1998 books too. Honestly, I just can't remember it being taught. I, so like, I, I don't think it was it. part of the curriculum, is what I'm saying. Oh, like required? You yeah, mean? like I'm sure if someone prompted the science teacher, in, they would probably turn around and be like, "Listen here, motherfucker!" It was part of the curriculum in bio. Did you take bio, or is that did you already drop out by then? Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry. What, what grade is that? Uh, Eleven. Is that like an? Is that technically like an academic class? Because because between grade ten, I'm not sure. Uh, between grade ten and eleven, yeah, science goes from school. being science. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian. <laughs> hey, you the brought sci- it up first. <laughs> I did. <laughs> You're right. Uh, no, but in grade ten, it's still just science class, and then in grade eleven, it becomes you can take physics, uh, I think, uh, I think bio, all, and chemistry. Like grade ten is your last required science class. So you're thinking you just didn't take biology? Anymore? I took like environmental science, and I never showed up. And oh, I like, environmental science was the one all the stoner kids went to. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I saw everyone in my class, but also I was a, I just slept in all the time, and it was a morning class. And then even when I got there, I was bored out of my fucking mind, so I fell asleep. I had a great biology teacher, so I remember a lot of bio. My stuff. teacher was nice. She tried her best to help me. I was just a shitty student. Mm-hmm. Like there is, I had a a lot of teachers at my at the school mm-hmm. that I went to were not bad teachers. I'm just a bad student. And then they also just the learn. It's not the way I like to learn. But then as soon as I went to the alternative school. The teachers there were much nicer to me. They literally thought I was going to be like some fucking stoner dropout kid. Yeah. And I came in and they were like... And you're just a regular dropout kid. Yeah. (laughs) I was a depressed dropout kid. 
So they were like, all right, here's a package, like a, a math package for like an entire unit. And I sat there in class. The classes were only, I didn't even have to go to the classes. That was the thing. Sick. I just had to go like once a month or pit to pick up a package or two. I oh, finished you mean the when entire, you were doing the, the GED thing? Oh, no, it's like... Uh, it's I not a GED did, here. It's, it would be like kind of similar to like how you would get a GED, but I do have a proper diploma. But cool. like... I fucking um, she she would get, she gave me the package and I did it all in like one sitting and I'm like can I get the next one? And she was like, one second. She looked over it and like ninety percent of my answers were right. And then she was like, why are you here? Hey, you in real talk? Yeah. Fully serious. I was in the dumb class. Don't worry. You might not have had trouble with school. What? You might have just had an ADD. Maybe. Who knows? Like, seriously? It doesn't really affect my life anymore, so. <laughs> I mean, people pay good money to get fucking, uh, I might have had, I might have had drug. ADD, but the one kid I knew who actually, who had like, what is it, the ADHD? Yeah. Which is like the hardcore version. Hyperactivity. Yeah, for like my whole life, up until like I was in like grade nine, we, they, they, he just told us that he had ADD because he was misdiagnosed. Mm. So, like, I was like, I don't have ADD because I'm not like that dude. Like, I wasn't constantly, like, fucking, like, cr- like couldn't do anything and, like, just uh, fucking around. Like, I could focus. But yeah, I was going to say, I know we like, have... I'm bored. <laughs> uh, I know we have two good friends that we see less now than we want to uh, that Davis? both have ADD. Yeah, Davis and Kyle both have ADD. I figured... I knew Davis did. Uh, my second guess would have been Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> And like for no yeah. reason, I don't know why. I think he might have told me before. Also, just straight up being good at classes but bad at school is basically just ADD. Yeah, I don't like, like it when people talk to me for too long. I get bored. Oh yeah, but being able oh, to Nathan, be- shut up. What? I love you. I'm bored. Is what I was. That was where I was going with that. But I don't lecture you. I just talk to you as a conversation. Yeah, I'm the teacher that sits backwards on the chair, motherfucker. <laughs> Look, listen here. I'd try and do it on this, but I would literally be doing the splits. You would wipe the fuck I'm out. I'm sitting in like a fucking lazy boy over here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if I was ever a teacher, I would immediately do that. <laughs> <laughs> just wipe the fuck out. You would get. Yeah, if I was a teacher, you know how teachers always had like their nicer desk chair and everyone yeah. else had their shitty plastic chair? It's like a wheelie I, gamer chair. I'd bring in a DX racer. Yeah, a DX racer and sit backwards on it. Yeah. Oh, God. I'd get stuck. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how DX no, racers you put, work. You put your, you hoop your fucking legs through the, because they're the ones with the open sides, right? Okay. Yeah. They're, I think, I think the Like this could, one. No, that, that one. So my chair, which is Secret Labs, those have like the whole hoops on the side. Like pretty much the armrests are connected hey, to kids. the back. Oh, he's you're, doing it. <laughs> you can't even get the other leg in because you're too thick. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. So on the secret lab one, it would be kind of easier to do because it's a larger chair. No, but also the back, like it doesn't connect at the back. They just come up from the sides. I almost wiped the fuck out doing that. You almost broke that chair. And oh, yeah, that's That it. chair is already fucked up. <laughs> that chair is like eight right, years old. enough for physical bits. <laughs> Trust me, that was really funny. It, it was kind of funny. Hey, like this, like this video if you thought that was a funny bit. All right? <laughs> I'm sure you definitely heard it. Yeah. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get into the news. First, we're going to start with mostly movie and television news, and then we're going to move on to gaming news. Because the gaming news is the more important one this and week. And there's more of it. There's so much of it. There's yeah. an infinity of it. I actually wrote. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. We I, love notes here. Yeah. I think I woke up and watched it after. Hell yeah. No, I, I watched it live, because it came out, it started at like four or something, didn't it? Oh, the PS5 thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I was well, like, I think I watched it live with you. Not well, a, like not exactly like with at the you, same. But like, I think you sent me like a text. I texted also, you a couple things. Don't fucking text me what the Nintendo Directs are about. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I I like woke up. I was no because the direct was at like 9 a.m. Yeah, I was on nights, so I was just awake because yeah. I always am. But like, I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking wake. I'm not gonna stay awake for two hours to watch the Nintendo Direct. It was at 10 a.m. Oh fuck! See, three hours. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, instead I woke up and was like, should I stay in bed until the Nintendo Direct is over? Mm. 
And the answer was, yeah, I'll just, I woke up at eight because I had no phone? sleep. Yeah. No, I watched it on my laptop. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. So I watched, I didn't look at any messages. I saw a message from Anthony that said the direct got me. So All right. So no spoilers, it. fellas, because right now we're on movie news. Yeah. Well, we're going to go through the week from but yeah, so beginning to end. I watched it and I found out why because he's yes, it's a cool. Fan. It's a good thing. He's a fan of that. Series. There's a lot of things that happened in that direct. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, let's two talk things. about the it was news. Two games. <laughs> let's talk about the news. I'm just gonna put my phone down because I don't have anything for movies. So Jonathan Majors, uh, an actor that you'd know from Last Black Man in San Francisco, To Five Bloods, or Lovecraft County, uh, he's a good actor. Is he the one? Is he the main dude in Lovecraft County? Yeah. Okay, so I know what he looks like. I haven't watched that show. I want to. I have I kept, not seen it. I got it. the ads when it was like a tall black dude and a black woman. Yep. So. Uh, anyway, he's been cast in Ant-Man 3 as Kang the Conqueror. Is that the villain? Yeah. He's a villain. He's a big He's a big Thanos-level threat. So it's odd that he's only in Ant-Man 3. So you think they're going to make him a joke then? Who knows? I hope that they keep with him because Jonathan Majors is a terrific actor. You know, I, I hope they do stuff with him. That's good. But because it's in an Ant-Man movie, I'm going to assume <sighs> that unless water. Luis is involved, it won't be good. Unless? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Luis is the only good part of those movies. I think Paul Rudd's. Fine. I like Paul Rudd, but I just think the movies aren't good. You know what I mean? I think they're standard. I think neither. Not, there's nothing special about. I it. think neither Ant Man movie is a good, full good the movie. The only good thing about, like, the only thing that those movies does well is like a positive father daughter relationship between yeah. Paul Rudd and his daughter. Obviously, not with Hope and her dad. Yeah. <sighs> like, there's some some stuff in there, but it's like. It's a mostly who cares. Yeah. Double, double but feature. But like I literally won into that movie going, oh my God, I bet this is going to be shit and I'm not going to care at all. And then I left the theater going like, honestly? Oh yeah. I mean. I didn't hate it. I mean, Ant-Man 1 is better than I thought it would be. Yeah. But I thought it was going to be shit. Yeah. Because Paul Rudd has only done comedies. Well, I, I, it wasn't even because of that. I didn't. I was like, "Why did they rip this film away from the clutches of Edgar Wright, a talented director and writer?" He had the bod for it. Like, I was surprised that Paul Rudd came out looking kind of good. Well, it's because Marvel pays for personal trainers. Yeah, they they force you. Yeah, and also, I bet Paul Rudd got the easier end of the deal. Because, like, Chris yeah. Evans had to do fucking, like, the same shit that, like, Hugh Jackman did, probably, where it's like, yeah. you got, I know you got a massive dong, but... Eight can, full chickens a week, baby. Eight full eight chickens? eight full chickens a day. Only steamed. Yeah. <laughs> only steamed broccoli, and you have to drink yep. a ton of coffee. And, and water. And beer sometimes. Yeah. Or, like, I think whiskey, because it, like, dehydrates yeah. you. But, like... Ant Man was probably just like, hey, just have like a lot of chicken, maybe some rice, like just a lot, like you could season it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's still got a six pack, so you you still have no, to be he, very he dehydrated. Just, he got very dehydrated, but he didn't have to get as ripped because Ant Man's not as huge. Yeah, like Karen, honestly, why does Chris he even Hemsworth have a kind fucking of fucked, six pack? He has to be huge. Yeah, and Chris Evans, he's gone. Honestly, why couldn't why couldn't Ant Man just have been schlubby though? He didn't have to. Well, not schlubby, but like. He was in prison. And what else do you do in prison other than work out? Make out. That's like a really gross stereotype about prisons and like Most sex in prisons is consensual, Ian. That's fine. That's why but I said I'm just make saying, out. There's like Ant Man right. went in. If like, you're stuck alone how many for years, months. Was he just in prison for like a year? I don't know. It's not clear. Mm. Maybe two. Well, his daughter has clear memories of him, so Yeah. It's a year or two. Yeah. He d- Honestly, I think they should have doubled and tripled down on the score to make it more like a heist movie score with the bongos and shit. But they only do that one, like when Luis is talking about like, so I know this yeah. guy. Yeah, they they try and do like a heist movie thing, but then like... If it's it, still using Marvel music. If the heist Marvel was successful, movie music. like more successful before it went bad, but instead it's like they're in the first stage of the heist. Oh no! And the second one's trying to do a big Lebowski thing, but just isn't as isn't good. Yeah. Just uh, the second movie. The only good part of fucking Ant Man Two is the end credits. What was the end credits? Uh, can't remember. Everybody dies. 
Everybody dies? Because Infinity War happens. Oh, yeah. How did you feel about, um, who was it, Randall Park? He's great. I he, like Randall Park. I liked his bit where he was like a, he was trying to be like this tough CIA agent the whole time. Yeah. He's like, how'd you do it? The up close magic. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I'll send you a link. <laughs> and he's like, you got my number? And he's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> then he doesn't. Yeah. If I would like that dude to come back in Ant Man 3. Just he's coming like, back in WandaVision or something. Oh, man. He's funny. Yeah. WandaVision, I don't understand. Uh, okay. It's like sitcom universe because her brain magic has done powers. Anyway, Kang the Conqueror is a cool character and is the descendant of Reed Richards. Does this mean they will cast a black man as Reed Richards? What if it. Okay. What if? Yeah. We get the dream Reed Richards casting. Rahul Coley. Yes. <laughs> and then a black. Sue Storm. Yeah. And just bring back Michael B. Jordan yeah. as Johnny. For okay, well, I don't think we can do that, unfortunately. And just nobody mentions it. Because Michael B. Jordan was already in the film. Yeah, but he's dead. Slash maybe the new Black Panther. I, I There's a Killmonger clone, and that's the new Black, Black Panther. Okay, I wouldn't hate it. I just, <laughs> I'm curious about what they're going to do. I also saw I something no where it was um in one of the comic runs, Shuri became Black Panther. Oh, they, that's probably what they'll do. Yeah, because also that. Everybody actress, likes that character. Yeah, she was good. And also, she already had, like, fighting and stuff. It's not like... Yeah. It wouldn't just be like, oh... She's going to be more Iron Man-y, though, is Yeah, the I think, like... I think that was uh, some people's problem who didn't know a lot about Thor. Is like, how did Jane Foster, a non-combatant, become a combatant? And it's like, because she got a hammer that made her super powerful. Yeah. But, like, at least with Shuri, it's like, she clearly has some training and she can do stuff. Also, fucking Black Panther already I mean, had, Peter like, Parker was never successfully in a fight until he became Spider-Man. Yeah. He was bullied, depending on what your version you were He watching. just completely got his ass kicked. Or, in the modern version, because bullies don't usually do violence He's to just a normal kid. He just got regular bullied. Yeah. He just got emotionally bullied. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Kang the Conqueror... Uh, Penis um, Parker. <laughs> I like that. Also, he was getting bullied by someone who's just richer than just he is. Such a loser. I love Flash in the new movies. Honestly, yeah. such a such a fun take on that. I would character. like him to turn around in the third one though and stop. Being I mean, such the, a piece I mean, of he shit. got an ending where it's like my parents have stopped talking to me. Question mark. I think that was more of like him. Just that was just like a sad thing for a teenager to say. But like, if he doesn't actually have any personal or emotional growth and not being a dickhead to other people. Or he's just going to become his parents and also be an asshole? No, but I, I feel like the abandonment thing is definitely, like, they set that up to, to yeah. tie in somewhere. I really like the Zendaya joke in fucking um, Far From Home where she's, like, uh, he's like goes to order, like, a glass of wine or something. And she, yeah. like, pulls it away and hands it back. And she's like, like he was booped or whatever the he fuck. Was, he was blipped. That man is not 21. He is 17. Mm. And 16. he's like, oh, oh. Come on. Yeah. He, did you ever see that video? It was like an old vine of that kid where it's just like, you got some fucking vodka and he like takes a sip and he goes like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that, I feel like that would be Flash on his I first feel, No. I feel like Flash is absolutely the kind of guy whose parents left open bottles of full liquor that he just took sips from. Or, I don't know, he seems like very gentrified brown kid. <laughs> so maybe they were like, hey Flash, it's a family dinner. Have some wine. White wine, yeah. Yeah. Because to rich people, white is wine brown? is water. Th- his last name's Revolori. I just thought he was Italian. His name's Tony. Is he? I Tony Revolori. Look up the fucking. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. Also, he could be. But mixed. also, that could be his, the original. It, they haven't changed his name from the original character. No, no. Tony Revolori is the actor. Oh, Tony Revolori. Flash Thompson is the character. Slash Eugene Thompson. Hmm. Um. Oh, he was Zero Mustafa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew he looked familiar. I didn't really know Oh, uh, so I already knew that. I was like, yeah. Oh, they got the guy from Grand Budapest to be Flash Hobson. Uh, anyways, go on while I look this up. Oh, yeah. Um, next up, Disney released a new trailer for oh, the Oh, he's like Latino. Oh, he's Latino? <laughs> yeah, okay. his, his, um, what's it? His last name is Revolori. It could be Spanish. No, I could but just his be... real last name is, his real name is Anthony Quinones. Okay. I don't know if that's how you say it, but sure. It's Q U I N with like the fucking squiggly. Yeah, like I, think umlaut, I think I think it's it O N E Z. Kionas? Kionas? I always thought like the N like with the thing on top made it like a Neil. 
You, yeah, maybe. Can you <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're probably yeah, right. I don't know. I'm trying my best here. Anyway, doesn't he release a trailer for Mandalorian season <laughs> two? Guatemala, comes out. I like if I went one more fucking <laughs> yeah. line, like they're Guatemalan. Oh, uh, Guatemala. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, sorry. I just looked at brown dude and was like, yeah. <laughs> and we don't get a lot of Mexicans up here. <laughs> and the one Mexican I did knew was super white. Yeah. But his name was not. Yeah. Yeah, not gonna I know say some it. Colombian people, but yeah. Yeah, we don't have any non white friends, which is unfortunate. We have a co- we have Well, I have Dan. We have George. Oh yeah, I forgot. Duh. <laughs> we have George, our token um Hispanic. Hispanic. <laughs> was he from was he Colombian? No, he's from uh, uh El Salvador. There we go. I hope they're, they're I hope it's El Salvador. No what? I think he's Salvadorian. El Salvador. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, anyway, <laughs> Mandalorian season two comes out October 30th. Yeah, yeah, I gotta finish season one still. Pedro Pascal, I'm baby. still paying for Disney Plus. I might as well watch it. Yeah. You wait, so you missed the fucking Taika Waititi episode? What was the Taika Waititi No, episode? you definitely watched the finale. No, I didn't. No, because remember I was talking to you and you were like, I oh, you I, just talked to me about I love it. how it opens with the two stormtroopers talking to each other, doing goofy jokes. I think I saw a clip. Oh. Or I think I didn't say I love that. I think I'm like I was like, what see, is that like a deleted scene or was that a real scene? And you were just like, no, that's in the show. Yeah, they got Jason Sudeikis to no, voice we were, one of them. And the other one was like Nick Swardson, wasn't it? Yeah, I think something like yeah. that. I don't know. I was supposed we were supposed to do like a weekly watch with like my friends. Yeah. But then just one week, like on the fifth week, we missed it, and then I joined, and then they were like, oh yeah, we watched it, and I'm like cool i guess fuck you and then the next week they they skipped and then they just binged it later so i'm like okay yeah. i missed out on all of it it was a good show uh and speaking of disney plus originals we we finally got someone cast for she hulk yeah it's, it's tatania maslani from canada nice yeah uh is she hulk canadian she hulk is not damn you're thinking of deadpool or wolverine I think I know, but there's more than just them. Uh, Alpha Force. Okay, whatever. Uh, I, mean, I hope she has some. I understand that She Hulk isn't ripped like the Hulk. But she's, she's not still I, strong. I think they're gonna get her ripped. I think she, if she looks as ripped as Wonder Woman in the Wonder Woman movies, that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Titania uh, Masonly Mislani. I don't know how to say it. Um, She's the lead actress from great t- Canadian television show. It's on the shelf right behind you, Ian. Orphan Black. Oh, that her. Yeah. She's a great actor. I love... Wasn't that, Orphan her. Black like a show... It was like shot in Toronto, but wasn't it fucking... It's like, a Canadian-British to- co-production. Yeah, because yeah. I remember I would see it like in ads. It's BBC America co-production with, Canada, with Bell Canada's Space Channel, which is name? now... Uh, M A S L N L L A N Y. I spelled her first name wrong. Go on. Are you? I thought I was gonna sneeze. All right. Damn, she's single. <laughs> uh, born not tall or... enough to be. Uh... She's not tall enough. <laughs> yeah. Why? She's like one. She's like one foot. No, not one. Foot. Five one. She's one hundred sixty three centimeters. So she's short. Not short. I think that's like Emma's height. Yeah, Emma's pretty small. We she's like say five, that four. as people who are like six feet tall. She's like five four. Which Emma's is like five short. five. <laughs> I think I'm like. Here's the thing: the average height for a woman is shorter than you think, and Emma's taller than that. Yeah, I think the average height is like five two, five three. Yeah, well, so like it's like we hang out around a but bunch we're big of tall people we but, hang but, out with but tall i don't people. consider myself to be tall i consider everyone else to be short yeah so emma doesn't <laughs> considers herself to be tall because every other woman around her is super short every woman around her is taller than her i don't think so i think she's taller than no. every woman we know no nope. except for like ashley uh my mom's taller than emma uh, Emily is taller than Emma. I don't think Emily's taller than Emma. No, you're Emma. thinking of the wrong Emily. <laughs> oh, Emily. Uh, De- Derek's girlfriend. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's six foot. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She's taller than Derek. I know that. Yeah, and Derek's, Derek's 5'10". Like five, yeah, 5'10". See, Derek's actually like average height. Yeah. 
but he's a little short bitch. Because he's fucking three inches Fuck short. <laughs> yeah, regardless. Emma's not short. Okay, anyway, my point is... Or maybe she just thinks she's not Sonya short Mason because she's the tallest woman in her family. Yeah. She's taller than her mom and her sister. All right. And her dad's like 5'11", so maybe... Maybe she's know. just tall. Who knows? Anyway, my point is... She's going to be great as She-Hulk. I'm sure they're just going to she- CGI it. I'm sure. I'm, or they might not even bother and just be like, she's tall for a woman, fuck off, who cares? <laughs> no, She-Hulk has to be taller than dudes. Mm, you're right. Because that's the entire point of the character. <laughs> I, maybe they'll just do what they do with Robert Downey Jr. I really want to see Charlie Cox in this show as well. I want him to show up as Matt Murdock. Because She-Hulk and Matt Murdock... Because She-Hulk's, I think, sometimes Ooh, a prosecutor... Sorry. Oh, 164 is not tall at all. It's five foot four. Yeah, so that's Emma's height. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, anyway, but... moving forward, Warner Brothers has decided to stop competing against itself and are pivoting DC Universe into being just a, a service for comics. And then all of the shows are going to be moved to HBO Max. Oh, thank God. Yep. Now I can watch Young Justice Season 4 legally. Well, hold on. Oh, wait, <laughs> HBO that's... Max. Is the Americans? We it's still probably going to be the same. We get HBO Max shows on Crave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, who knows? Maybe who knows? we'll be able because there may be the my deals hope that they've is already, higher than it was before. Maybe the deals that they've already made are still in. You know, well then, Young happening. Justice season four would be on Adult Swim. YTV. No, Adult Swim. Adult Swim is Harley Quinn. Adult Swim is also has Young Justice. Oh really? Yeah. Damn. Um, or Cartoon Network Canada has it here. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, I don't think Teletoon's a thing anymore. I no, it were, is. It's just like... Weren't they like bought out by Cartoon Network pretty much? Because like their remember. entire programming toward... Like, well, well, pretty much what I stopped watching was like Adventure Time and Regular Show. I mean, I just... I haven't viewed the channel in uh, But that I'm saying decade, back so when those who, shows who were on. Like, I was like 16. Like, in 2011. I, I think... T- I think there the was a lot lineup. of deals, but there was a Cartoon Network shows that showed up on YTV. Like what? And oh. otherwise. And, Dexter's and Laboratory. Versa. Yeah. Johnny Bravo. But that was in the early 2000s when YTV's... Yeah. But then YTV started doing more like Nickelodeon stuff. You're right. Yeah, because Avatar was on YTV. Yeah. And Spongebob. And Spongebob. But... And then all the later show, like the fucking later shitty shows, like Victorious. I think that's a Disney show, actually. Yeah. The Disney Channel was on Family here. Yeah. And now we have a Disney Channel here. Anyway. They, um, they're, uh, they have a sister channel. It says Teletoon's sister channel is Adult Swim and Cartoon Network. Yeah. I think Adult Swim and Cartoon Network channel here is co-owned by the company that owns Teletoon. Yeah. They are... Um, this is so confusing. I hate it when they do this. Yeah. Uh, Teletoon is a cartoon English language specialty channel owned by Teletoon Canada Incorporated, a subsidiary of Chorus Entertainment. Just say yeah. it's owned by Chorus. I don't need this other step in between. And then who owns Chorus? Chorus is Chorus. It just owns itself. It's a big company here. It's a big Canadian media company. Mm. So they probably just have. They a deal. just have licensing deals. Yeah. Okay. So, I've buried the lead in this news story, Ian, because along with the announcement that they're pivoting DC Universe and moving all the TV shows to HBO Max, they also Just announced a season up. three of Harley Quinn. Oh, sick. Hell yeah. Nice. Season one and two of Harley Quinn were like back to back. Yeah, it was like a five month. Yeah. That's like how, you know how sometimes they'll be like, I think they do that a lot with TV shows, actually. Yeah. Where it'll be like, season one is like a day away from airing, and then it's just like, oh, by the way, there's a already confirmed for a second season. Yeah. Um, like, oh, cool. Except Also, the, I think they make the show for really cheap. Oh, you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Because especially when the main focus of, you have to do like maybe one or two action scenes. They reuse animation all the time. Yeah, or look look, look at the difference between um, like Young Justice season three to four is taking fucking forever, right? We know we know season three started being made. Season two to three took a lot to. Yeah, no, no, but season three started being worked on in 2016 and it came out in 2019, mm. um, or 20 2018 maybe I'm not sure. But then since season three ended, they've gone straight into prod on four and it's still taking a long time. Because probably 2021 show. Takes a lot of time. Yeah, it's probably yeah. 2021. A lot. There's not going to be a lot of content coming out in 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Harley Quinn gets a season three. 
Actually, wait, I guess Cyberpunk's coming out in 2021 now, isn't it? Nope. Is that December? That's still November. Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just remembering all the memes I kept seeing because they pushed it from September and then I saw a fuckload of well, memes. Well, they pushed it They pushed it from April first. They pushed it from April to September and then yeah. from September to November. But yeah. then around the middle of fucking August, I saw a bunch of memes that it was like the same font, but then when you actually read it, it was just the lyrics to Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. That's great. But I forgot that that was the That's like why. I was telling you that they delayed Stanley Parable's Ultra Deluxe console port to 2021, and they did it by photoshopping the cyberpunk one into saying Stanley Parable. <laughs> I think that was what started the meme. Yeah. yeah. And then they photoshopped a different one into saying Stanley Parable. And then they made their own one that looked like it was for Spider-Man Miles Morales that they photoshopped <laughs> into Stanley Parable. But that was that was they just that's, made it. Yeah, that's funny. And then reading that made me go, "Hold on. Did they delay did they post this <laughs> Was this a real one? <laughs> now they just keep making like waiting for more. Yes, yeah, because the first two were real ones that they'd re-edited, and the third one was completely made that they just did themselves. That was really well. Yeah. Um, now let's move on to games. It's been a big week for video game news. In case you didn't know, yeah. So let's just bang through some stuff. First of all, before any any events, we got the announcement of Twin Mirror, the long-awaited uh, detective game by Don't Nod. That's coming out December first. And Deltarune Chapter 2 is progressing. Toby Fox expects a late 2020, early 2021 release after having to move development back into Game Maker in May of this year. You all right? Uh, yeah, I moved away to burp, but then I burped as I was moving Straight back. into the microphone. Yeah. 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 Um, so that's right. that's what I got for before the PS5 event. We want to move on to the PS5 event? Yeah, uh, I just have one note that I don't know if you wrote down. I just thought the sizzle reel they had right before. Yeah. I thought that was a really good... Well, it was just a sizzle on. reel of what we saw last. Yeah, I know, but it's just like it got me. Like it was a good one. I, I yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you that. Hype again. I'll give you that. It really amped up the stakes, and then the first trailer was like, "Fuck you, here's more." Yeah, the first trailer was like, "Oh, did you? Were you like? I don't think they can top the last." I don't think they're going to show anything new. I think this is just more confirmation. Yeah. And, and then, then they yeah. whipped their dick out and showed off Final Fantasy 16, baby. Yeah. It's a more European dark fantasy style. It's got combo it's based going, action combat. It's going back to the classic Final Fantasy games. Yeah, the very classic, like, like one, two, three. F, no, also I think up to six. It was more. Oof. Six had Magitech and mechs and stuff. Oh, yeah, but they, they still try to be like, it's Magitech mech ship, but it's like surrounded by swords and shields. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, this one's very... European Dark Fantasy. We yeah. got combo-based action combat. We're back to being PS exclusive plus PC. Uh, nope. Yeah, what? That was, there was no plans for a PC release right now. You're Pretty, thinking of a different thing. Nope. There was another, you're, th- uh, you're talking about the, the a future one coming up. They also, that PC thing at the bottom for mm-hmm. Final Fantasy 16, also a mistake. But it said right at the front of it that it was a PC It's running. emulated on PC. So pretty much they built a PC. With that worked, PS5 specs? Yeah, that has the same specs as a PS5. Okay. There will probably, it'll probably be like FF7 Remake. Yeah. Where Xbox and it's coming up for Xbox and PC like next year. I think year. it's just coming out for PC next year. I think it's coming out for Xbox as well. But we're, whatever, yeah. it's... Final Fantasy 16 is probably going to be a timed PS5 exclusive. Hell yeah. For like a year, six months to a year, you get it early on, and then you can buy it for the other can- consoles later. Hell yeah. But uh, they at also, the moment, yeah. it is saying it is a PS5 exclusive. Yeah, I, I knew it was a timed exclusive, but I thought it was saying it was. It, they said it was also coming to PC. No. That, I, they're just trying to okay. say that they... The, they're trying to say that it's like, yeah, the game's totally... Look at how almost finished it is. And like, cool, you have the combat and some scripted segments down. But Final Fantasy is much bigger than that. Yeah. That's a hundred hour game. And I saw about 30 minutes of gameplay. There are seven. Well, no, I'm saying like... What? The seven minutes. No, but what I'm saying is like that... The playing through those sections oh, yeah. would be like 30 minutes. Um, but this confirms the rumors that were already flying around about how... Uh, FF14's head of honcho Yoshi P was going to be the producer in charge of 16 and it also proved that the DMC5 combat designer that was hired by Square Enix uh, was attached to this game yeah oh I also really liked how he um the, I always felt like Noctis was missing something yeah because he only used shit he you fought with one hand he used a one hand so sword so spells yeah it's like oh yeah, cool, it, we're going to take Noctis's gameplay but then instead of like it up. There's probably gonna what's the like 
The circle button was dodge, X was jump, square was light I think attack, it's triangle be di- was warp. Yeah, I think this is completely different because it is running on 14's engine, Yeah, not 15's. Um, it looks so, as good as 15, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it looks great. Uh, and uh, it's directed by the director of The Last Remnant, which is a great game, and you can buy it on Steam. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't know. I just uh, I really like the whole switching between combat, like switching Love between it. melee and magic. No one really does that in games. Yeah. The only game where I I thinking off the top of my head you can do that right now is fucking um, Skyrim. Yeah, but it's like not even the same it's way. Shit. <laughs> because this, yeah, this feels kind of sucks. yeah. This feels like they're using magic as like a sort of more in depth version of guns in DMC. Because he's shooting the magic with one hand as a distance, and then combo, yeah. and then but then he had a teleport thing. So and a teleport, yeah. So I'm gonna take. A, I'm gonna say, circle is probably gonna remain dodge. I think R two is going to be because there was like a little like. Button I wouldn't prompt. say it's like Noctis's warp. I would probably say it's more like um, Dante's fucking trickster. Yeah, like the high level trickster, like teleport straight there, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's gonna be on R two. Square is going to be light attack. Triangle, I think, is going to be magic. I'm thinking... I, I think this is going to play it very close to the, the DMC thing, only because I heard people talk about how the lock-on is the same as DMC 5. Like, they were able to deduce that from some details. Okay. So, probably... Who knows what button it'll be, but, like, it'll be... It's a press and hold type situation, like mm-hmm. DMC 5. Um, but, yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's a that, but that's a that looks great. And uh, again, if you're hyped for this, play The Last Remnant. It's a great game. How long is it? It's a long JRPG. But it's, nah. I'm gonna probably stre- start streaming it soon. I saw a fucking thing. Yeah, a tweet today. What was it? I sent it to my buddy. Was it the fake Insomniac Games tweet? Oh man, no, it wasn't. I wish okay. it was now. Fuck, uh, I'm gonna have to go through it. I I just want to get the exact wording right. It was sure. some. It's some shit where I'm like, if this was a Western developer, I could totally understand tweeting this at them. Yeah. God, we talked a lot today. Oh, I was complaining about fucking Mario. <laughs> okay. It says, please Square Enix, some diversity would be nice. And it's like all the protagonists there. It's like a bunch of... Okay, from like the, uh, like a Westerner looking at that, it's like, oh, it's a bunch of white people. And it's like, no, technically they're all Asian. Number uh, one, 14 has a customizable character. Yeah. Like, okay, yeah, it's like There's one. a default one, but yeah. yeah. Okay, and here's the second thing. Many of those games have side ca- Like, it's a... Most there of those games are black party dude based. That looks like a black dude. Like, not like a cartoonish rendition. Okay, in 13. In, I was going to say in 7. Oh, and in 7. Yeah, Barrett is the most beautiful black man I've ever seen. Yeah, he's like cartoonish southern louisiana voice mr t yeah but like he's still a good Barrett's guy great yeah um there is no representation in 15 they're correct about that yeah 14 you create your own hold on though characters there are there's titties in, in what, 15 15? that character that are, cindy oh yeah there's women who are totally respected. <laughs> yeah. There's one strong woman in that game, and, and you don't. And Prompto is tactically a different race. <laughs> He's like a robot, yeah. <laughs> or no, what is he? He's like the same thing as like the Magic Six Soldiers, which is like a bio-engineered person, but he has like a. Brain. Also, there's like a there's like an Islander character in ten. Also, one second. Is Prompto kind of like fucking Arsenal <laughs> or no? Uh, Roy, uh, Will yeah. Harper. Where it's like, yeah, we just killed the like they kidnapped killed the him original as a boy child. and killed the original and just replaced him. Yeah, probably. But obviously, Arsenal's still alive. But yeah. Um, also, fucking yeah. In thirteen, you got to play as a woman. What else do you want? As a woman. Also in, in ten two, you play as a woman. Yeah. Also, this is only mainline games. Yeah. This is only one to sixteen. But yeah. It's also just, parties. Again, like most of those games sure have a protagonist, but it's a party full of people that each get character yeah. stuff. But just remember for a fact here, this is a Japanese development studio. Yeah. They do not care about us. Also, why are we using the remake versions and CGI versions of the characters from one to six? Yeah. They sh- I should see sprites. Yeah. Or concept art. Also, <laughs> who knows what a black mage is? Okay, that, you can't let's see not go under- with that one. Let's not go with that one. <laughs> That's like being like, who knows? Maybe Mr. Popo is a black man. 
black mages aren't racist stereotypes. They're just you can't. They're fully it, shadowed. Yeah, you can't see their faces. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, Spider Man Miles Morales shows some gameplay and Gunke Lee. D- Perbatim what I wrote. Damn, really cool that we got to see that scripted walking seg- scripted walking segments are in Spider Man. <laughs> It takes place one year after the original. I mean, they're in every game that's made. I know, but I just really, I get it that it's like trying to also set the tone of what's yeah. going on and like establish everything. Also, look how many things are on the screen yeah, at once. That's a lot going on. Look at all the but particles. Just real quick. I just go to, it's, uh, wait, what is it? Sucker Punch. Insomniac. Insomniac. You know who I'm talking about. Go yeah. to them and pl- please say, please tell us how to make the character walk faster if the character you're playing walks faster. I oh, go to Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch yeah. did that really well. And yeah. just I don't fucking care. Let, even if I'm going to... I'll slow down and stop if I don't think they're done talking before I get to an objective. If yeah. I care. But if I don't care, I'm really upset when I'm like... Yeah, but when it's slowly yeah. character glitching behind them because you can't pass their invisible barrier. Like whenever I restart RE3 make... <laughs> And I get, and I have to do that fucking part where Carlos just turns around and stops in front of the door and goes, "Whoa, what are you talking about?" And I'm like, "Fucking move!" Yeah, I've played this game ten times. I'm speed running. Okay, so it takes place one year after the original. The Tinkerer is the main villain. It's more of what we've already seen and played from the first, but takes advantage of Miles' powers and character. It looks like he has a lot more focus attacks. Yeah, well, because he does the he has the Venom Strike. Yeah, but like he like they use. Without his meter going down, he yeah. used a lot of like special moves. Yeah, um, the game's also coming to PS4 if you're too poor for a real games console. Okay, that's me. <laughs> it's the a game, joke. The fucking console. Was you know seven. it's a joke. How much did you just pay? You know it's a joke. But Ian. how much? Did you, you know just... I didn't actually mean it. <laughs> you know I was being facetious. Yeah. All right. Anyway, yes, I paid a lot of money for a PS4. Yeah. How much? How much did you pay? Well, it's the we same bought it every- from the same place. I yes. just want to make sure. Six hundred thirty before tax. Yeah, but, okay. My tax was like eighty one dollars. Yeah, it took it over seven hundred. Yeah. What? It took it over seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah. With tax. So that that's real cool about being Canadian. One, our tax is high, but at least we get to live. And our dollars shit. <laughs> our dollars shit right now. So uh, we're paying like a fucking eighty more dollars. Aren't you excited PS4. to be playing eighty nine? Paying eighty nine ninety nine for new games. Honestly, I'm not that upset about it as long as the game has content yeah like if the game is worth like fucking spider-man miles morales because it's mm-hmm. two they're giving me a second copy of a game well yeah it's as well it's for 89.99 yeah yeah and the main story and there's a new game or plus, you can get and then this all the or you can get the version shit. without the without the remaster for 65 okay i'm probably gonna do that because i already own it on ps4 and the thing is backwards compatible yeah, but the PS5 Ultimate Edition comes with a remaster of the original that Insomniac promises is a huge difference. Graphically. Inclu- graphically, I have the game, though. It's got revamped textures and and character models, and they claim that this will be the first time you can see the next generation of Peter Parker, which means that they've probably altered that character model to not look so fucky. Oh, God, I hope. Jesus. Just, like, smooth Why did they it. have to make it look like if Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland had a baby? They, no, they did, like, the fucking fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z, except you can't do that with three people. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was, I got mostly Andrew Garfield vibes out of that look. Mostly Garfield, but he's, he's like, a I, bit... I know he's a mashup of all of them, but just the way his hair is, and, like... Yeah. I like Andrew Garfield. Those movies are the best Spider-Man movies. Don't at me. Nathan, I'm going to at you because the second one sucks so The second hard. one's good? No, it's not. It's good? It's bad. It's bad with the extended edition, but it's good in its regular edition. I don't think I've seen the extended. I don't think I saw that movie. The extended too. edition has a bit where his dad's alive. Yeah, that sucks. But... I thought they kind of... They also kind of implied that in the first one. They never really explicitly said his parents well, are no, dead. Well, they, no. They explicit... They say it at the beginning of the second one when they, you see them violently die in a plane crash. And <laughs> anyway, they kept. I like they that they kept that the two. Gonna crash this plane I, with I like that they kept that the two parents are uh, shield agents. I think that's a good storyline. But they died on a mission. Regardless, um, who cares? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, hey, wow! What a weird coincidence. The stream went completely blank with no audio for a bit. Oh, here. okay. One second. I still want to talk more about Spider Man. Oh, okay. I just thought uh, those like the villains. 
Okay, obviously the villains film- are very boring, including the Tinker or the leader, because I didn't realize that they they were the leader of the group until the second time I watched the trailer. Yeah, so the, the, the t- okay, there's the the electronic people. There's like the people who like are perceived to be the good guys, but are villains. Huh? Okay, so at the rally, yeah, it gets some. There's the terrorist group or whatever who yeah. wore purple, and I don't know. I just wrote down that those looked like some prowler colors. Oh yeah, it did, but it's the Tinkerer's group is okay. what they say in but the trailer. But I'm just saying, what if Prowler Prowler will be in this? Yeah, almost certainly. Think, will it be Aaron Davis? Or yeah. will they say Aaron Davis is his uncle? Yeah, they absolutely will. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Or you know how Taskmaster was in the game? Like you know, in the for, in Spider Man PS4. Yeah, you you did those Taskmaster challenges. Yeah, was that his name? And like, uh, you would fight him after them. Or like a certain amount. Yeah, I, yeah, it's ta- Taskmaster. I think Prowler would be a cool thing to do like that, except as like more of a story thing. Yeah, I think the optional. problem is you'd kind of have to make it like story, like like main content because of the emotional connection. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be cool if it was like one of them. I think it would be kind of cool if Prowler figures out that it's Miles or whatever. And he's like, oh, damn. Kind of like, you know, the scene in Spider-Verse where he yeah. takes off the mat, where Miles takes off the mask so he does, his uncle doesn't kill him. And then that's what yeah. ends up killing him. I think it'd be cool if, like, beginning of the game, there's a scripted loss to Prowler, and he goes to take off your mask and then realizes it's his fucking nephew. Yeah. And he, like, puts it back on and, like, goes and leaves you. I bet it'll be closer something. to the comics than that movie. Because that movie... Is the Prowler, like, an asshole in the comics? Yep. Okay. Because he tells he tells uh, his uncle before he tells his dad. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, and then the uncle is like, come on missions with me to do crimes. Mm, okay. I don't know. I think aesthetically it looks kind of pretty, but... Mm-hmm. Whatever. It's... I, I'm sure the book that we're going to enjoy about the game is Miles, not yeah. the villain. It's more of the same of the last Spider-Man game, but it's prettier, and it's like about Miles. I would like to see uh, them go somewhere with that Harry Osborn shit. Where they made it, they were like kind of implying that he's going to be Venom. Yeah, like in the Ultimate Universe. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. I think yeah. it'd be fun. Uh, the stream went completely blank here with no audio. No, we're not going to fucking do this. <laughs> I'm going to keep cutting this joke out. J.K. Rowling's a turf. Don't buy this game. Don't buy the game. It's a bad game to buy. And also, um, it doesn't matter if she didn't work on it. She'll get royalties from the licensing. She will, and most the uh, and she if, spends her money on stupid bullshit. The only thing that the devs who worked hard on the game are losing out on is maybe a bonus. But I think this is a bigger... Isn't this done by like a bigger company? It's Avalanche and WB Games. Yeah, it's WB Games. So you're, they're not getting much. This is the this is the dev team that did those Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor games. Just like if unless unless you really love Harry Potter, go find something better to do with your money. If you like Harry Potter, remember to constantly admit that the the however much money you're going to spend on this is blood money. <laughs> no, okay. Remind yourself. Do uh, not no, give not yourself really, a because free j- pass because you bu- because buying the game. Isn't making J.K. Rowling go out and killing trans people. Donate money to bullshit that does. But also, but, go, donate money to bullshit that goes out and no, kills trans No, no, no. That's people. what she does. She does that. She yeah. she she uh, pays lawmaker, or she has like a super PAC that pays lawmakers just, to pass bad laws. Just fucking, okay. Just look, like, there's a bunch of racism in Harry Potter as well. Yeah. That's like really, that people... Like, usually when it's on inside, like, when you fucking... People who are part of the marginalized groups, when they saw it, they were like, huh. But all the... No, all the I almost said all the normal people. All the white... All the Christian white people who saw it was like, yay, witchcraft! Which is also against your fucking there's a, religion. There's a great TikToker. Uh, oh, is it the black dude? Who's the, like, no, no, it was a, gr- uh, it was a woman okay. who's like... Who's like, it's my first year at Hogwarts, and I'm Laquisha Water Malone. <laughs> So she's okay. I don't know who stole the joke then, because there was a uh, another. There's one a where, dude who did a different one. Yeah, where he's like, "I'm Tyrone, can't say that, and I can't say the second part." <laughs> and he just says, "My mother's addicted to wizard crack, and I sell yeah. bad potions to help pay for it." Yeah, because I love. It was my definitely mom. both of them doing the same joke. Yeah, but from a different she, POV. He went. He said it. His was a reboot with a black main character. Yeah, hers was just. 
the black character that was written into a future Harry Potter book. So, yeah. so she can be like, I'm not racist. <laughs> yeah, but um, what is it? The fucking like bankers and that street that oh yeah or like horrible like jewish characters yeah, yeah. and then like some uh, dobby is also like a classist thing yeah like dobby it was like a term an actual like term they used for fucking poor british people yeah it's like a whole thing yeah we're not here to get into that because we're 45 minutes in and we have have to just get through all of this so call of duty maximum war crimes has nice visuals but i don't really care also um the one fucking time they showed off that bullet going through like they did the sniper, sniper ghost warrior thing so that's what it is yeah. sniper elite i wrote sniper warrior <laughs> sniper warrior uh yeah so i think it's sniper elite uh, where you yeah. fucking shoot a guy and it does like the, the thing but then it goes through and it doesn't hit the other guy that is so scripted because yeah. then the whole next sequence wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But also, I don't know a lot about RC cars. I could call Ryan, uh, not Blake's roommate, Ryan. They didn't the other have. Ryan. They can't outrun regular they, calls, well, and they probably weren't that high tech. That in the was 80s. some fast and furious nonsense. Except I have more of a problem with it. <laughs> it's whatever. It's another Call of Duty. Who fucking cares at this point? There yeah. is a free alpha on PS4. That's cool. Whatever. Call of Duty is only good for the multiplayer and they need to stop acting like it's uh, people care about the story. Anymore. Yeah. Your last good story was, I think people liked Black Ops 2. I think people liked even Black Ops 3. I think actually people liked Modern Warfare 4. It's just no one talks about it because no, the new one, was popular. No, the new Modern Warfare, people were like, eh, this story is kind of bad. It has moments that are good, but it's not good the way the older ones but were. But it's also just bringing back characters that we already had an attachment to. Yeah, like it's well, it's it, like a it's a reboot, right? So it's kind like, of yeah, where it's like Captain Price shows up, and I you don't so, play as Soap, but they're like they you're not Soap, then, you're another person. In the but group. also at the end of Modern Warfare Two, Captain Price and Soap were like fucking. Fugitives. They retire. They're like yeah, we're not here. No, anymore. but they like fucking they the uh, Shepard creates like a new war. And then you kill him while they're uh, he sends his paramilitary organization to kill you at the map. Rust. That was also the um. That was also the game that lost them their U.S. government money for a while. Don't worry, they got it back. They got it back, like, next game when they were like, yeah. no, they're all good. Modern Warfare 3, they definitely had it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, moving forward, Resident Evil 8, it still looks dope. It still comes out in 2021. Yeah. I have a theory that you turn into a werewolf in this game because there's a part where you see Ethan's shadow and it looks all fucking weird. You also, people are also fucking popping off with the, th keep, I keep seeing the theory that Chris is the werewolf that you keep seeing in that fucking trailer. Hmm. Because in the very first trailer, he's just, he's that giant fucking, he's wearing that giant coat. Yeah. He kills Ethan's wife for some fucking reason. Yeah. A bunch of agents come in and like kidnap you, I guess, and take you to the village. Yeah. But then in a future shot, the, the when they show that werewolf transforming, he's already like mid transformation, so you can't get the details. But he's wearing like a black coat. Yeah. That's could, like similar to Chris's, and could people be. are like, "Ooh!" But also, I don't like that. <laughs> Yeah, I would. Chris Redfield. I, I think it'd be more interesting if Ethan turns into a werewolf. Cause, yeah, because he's a new character, and I don't care that much about him. Also, he already had an arm cut off. What more can he do? You Does know? he? Is he armless? No. Okay. So in in RE seven, you cut your arm gets cut off right at the beginning, and then it gets stitched back on. Oh, okay. And you have to keep pouring shit on it because mm. magic is real in All this right. universe. And then the next pop off. Deathloop. It still looks great. Oh, I didn't great. write anything about Deathloop. Fuck. <laughs> Deathloop still looks awesome. It's still delayed to Q2 2021, which we knew about from like a couple... That's fine, though. ...months ago or That's whatever. That's fine. It's, it's fine. Don't yeah. Bethesda games, don't I'm rush I'm fine them. with it. Also, it's still PS5 exclusive and PC or whatever. Uh, I'm playing it on PC. I'm playing it on PS5. Well, uh, you know, it's a first-person shooter, so I have to play it on PC. Or else I will have a bad time and not like it. I mean, I'm going to play it on PS5 because my PS5 is more going to be more powerful than my PC. I think my a PS5 will be on par with my PC, but when I have it depends on it depends. Like I think when it's I have a be valuable source of in, uh, <laughs> or um, what is it? Not valuable. Disposable. Yeah, when I have disposable income again, I'm probably going to get a 3080. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like the closest we can get to what the what the PS5 is using. It's a custom AMD thing, but... Like, it is. I think it's actually closer to, like, a 2080 Ti. But um, then the rest of the things inside of my computer put it on par. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's 
it the PS5 shit is all proprietary. It's yeah. all specially made for it. So even if it, if it was like if I took like the base version of whatever they have, yeah. it might be lower spec than what I have. Well, AMD but said that shortly yeah. after the consoles come out, they're going to release their on parity uh, uh, GPU. Hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, now let's get to the pop off DMC five special edition, baby. DMC five uh, D- DMC now with a real five at the end because now it's the Virgil edition. Yeah. Which um, I should have just called it. Kept the V for five. I like. I don't know. Uh, I liked it better that way. Yeah. So, so DMC five special edition. Uh, we it's got, got all this nonsense in it. And I don't think I'm going to get it, though, because uh, even though I own it on PS4 and on my PC, I cannot get I can get the Virgil DLC for either of them, but nothing else. Yeah. Thank you, fucking Pat, for getting so, a Capcom rep to confirm that. You that's, really. Yeah, that's what so that's what it is. So DMC5 Special Edition with Virgil is the next gen version of GM, DMC5. It's got Virgil playable. It also has. Uh, legendary Dark uh, Dark Knight difficulty, which is the highest uh, bullshit difficulty in the game. It's actually like a regular difficulty, just with like three or four times the enemies. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah that's they showed that off in the trailer. Yeah. With, like it's ridiculous number of enemies. Of yeah. um, on the PS5 and and uh, pro- presumably the Xbox Series X, uh, so there are three options for how to play. You got your 4K 30 FPS with ray tracing on. You've got 1080p 60 FPS with ray tracing on. Or if you don't want your ray tracing, you can play at 1080p 120 FPS. Because motherfucker, who even knows how we even do it? I hope they don't name it something else. Like, fucking, ooh, qu- performance or quality mode. It's like, just tell me what the fuck it is. It's, yeah, it's probably going to say performance or resolution, because that's what you call it. Yeah, well, performance I get for this one. Yeah, performance is frame rate. Yeah. But no, it's going to be like there's a ray tracing toggle and then a frame rate toggle, I think, and then a resolution toggle. Or That's whatever. better. That put Make that shit more like a PC. Yeah. Uh, it's also going to be available as paid DLC for the last gen version. But and a lot only... of people are mad because the PC is considered a last gen version. Yeah. Yes. Which is always yeah. dumb. Just give us the update. Make, charge us 20 bucks for a fucking full update. But yep. it's just Virgil. Yeah, it's just Virgil. It doesn't have the other stuff. Well, obvi- it's like obviously... It doesn't you, have you the extra get the difficulty. the 4K ray tracing stuff, except the PC could. The PC could have. It doesn't but. have the extra difficulty, and I think there's something else we're missing. I think there's maybe, like, more Bloody Palace content. Maybe some other piece of content. Because, oh, see, there's, there's going to be a presentation at TGS that seems like it's going to have more sh- stuff. I think there's going to be multiplayer. Yeah, multiplayer is possible, which because would be cool as hell. they showed a shot in the trailer. This is a shot from the game. Yeah. Where it... But it's like, why would you show this off with D with Nero and V? Like you know that I think it's yeah. at the end of Mission Six where you fight all the Nello Angelos. Yeah, you can't count whatever the fuck they're called in this one. Yeah, you beat up a bunch of them and Virgil's with Nero in that mission. Yeah, I mean there is there is a part. Oh, Virgil's with Nero. V, yeah, yeah. sorry, v, fuck. V's, uh, V's with, with Nero. Um, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> V's with Nero in that mission. But yeah, I mean there was already that sort of. There's a mod on PC to do multiplayer. Pretty much everything that's in this yeah. DLC is the, based this, on people it, yelling about it. But it's also mods that already exist on PC. That too. But I'm sure they made their the Virgil's different. The Virgil's different. Virgil is just them trying to rip the fighting style and then put it assign it to buttons. Yeah. Whereas um, this version that they play as it keeps yeah. it keeps like the meter the concentration meter from four. Yeah. Which is cool. They've they've really gone all in on this. Uh, but yeah, people are pissed because the PC version is being counted as a last gen version. I'm sure it'll come to PC six months later, for an as a fully extra different game. Yeah, I just think that's lame to do. Oh, it's lame to do, sure, but I don't really fucking care. It's like when they put Dragon Quest Eleven S Special Edition, whatever the fuck it was called. Oh, that's stupid. Echoes of Elusive Age S. Yeah, when they, the Switch uh, version. They, it was only the Switch version, and also it was like a and now, port. And now they're po- porting the Switch version to PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also it was like title. they didn't. It's just bad. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, I'm really happy about this. You know, it's a it's a console exclusive. Honestly, you can get the most, the biggest chunk of this. What's in this special edition as d- paid DLC? Anybody who's causing a stink about this, I think, is being a dumbass. I ass. think it's lame that me, as a person who owns it on PS4, they want me to pay full price for it on PS5, where it's my same account. What they should do is have is look into my shit and just charge me like forty bucks 
It is only forty bucks. Never mind, I take it back. The game's only forty dollars. Okay, never mind, I take it back. Or forty American, back. probably gonna be fifty Canadian. Forty five. Yeah. Uh, like when I would tell people Among Us is five bucks, but in Canadians I gotta be like it's five sixty nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on, we got more Odd World. Cool if you like that kind of thing, but I don't care. Skip that entirely. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach exists or whatever. Five Nights at Freddy's Baby Las Vegas Edition. Also, this is the ninth Five Nights at Freddy's game. Yeah. Uh, and I, I'm really excited to get more of the content I love, which is Markiplier complete. Markiplier going, oh, Jesus. No, I don't watch that. I like complete guilty pleasure watching fucking Matt Pat fan theories about Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, that's fine. It's a fully guilty pleasure, I and saw, I admit I that. I saw a fun dig about it, though. Yeah? Where it was like, Five Nights at Freddy's is on its ninth game and is a launch title for brand new console generation. Toby Fox is celebrating his fifth year of Undertale, and yeah. like it has like hot new games that everyone's like waiting for with like bated breath for yeah. and then yandere dev hasn't even fucking put out his game yet <laughs> yeah but then someone was like yandere dev is like a fine comparison but the real one is phil fish <laughs> yeah the man who is like the real hot the hot boy that everyone was like man we love phil fish it turns but out then, jonathan blow sucks did you learn that did you no, find I that didn't. Yeah. i will phil fish i don't know if he ever had phil like fish a, just made fez no no but he also was just a dick like oh yeah he was a big crybaby because people are like Hey man, it's been like four years. When's Fez two? And he's like, you know what? It's almost done, but I'm gonna delete it all now. It's like, no, it was it was a bunch of people talking about some kind of bullshit about Fez, and he was like, Fez two canceled because everybody keeps because yelling. you're being mean to me. Yeah, and it's like okay. On uh, the other hand, though, you gotta respect the drip a little bit. No, I don't. You're being a little baby. Mm, but in like such a damn hard way, and like it was mostly done, and he's just. He's just like, no, you know what? And fuck you. No, I don't respect it. I, I think respect that's a, a baby, bit. a piss baby freak out and also a dumb thing to do for your life. I'm sure Phil Fish, since he developed Fez by himself, yeah, made all the money off of it. Yeah. And he's probably just sitting comfy and he probably went to like a financial advisor and was like, here, make this last forever. Yeah. So whatever, but. Do investments for me so I can afford to live in a house until I'm dead. Yeah. And then they're like, you can't live in L.A. And he's like, I have no reason to live here anyways. I don't think you yeah. even live there. But Anyway, moving on to a bad game, unlike Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, Demon Souls, the remake. We got finally got some gameplay. I'm game surprised you, did, you weren't mean about this. This game looks fantastic. Oh, no. I, I called this game worse than Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, okay. That was the Sorry. Joke I, made. I thought you said not as no, bad. No, but actually, truly, it's probably. I'm sure it's good. No, let's get like... Visuals look really nice. The animations look significantly better. Your character looks like it's actually his, like, you know, when he takes steps, actually yeah. looks like it belongs in the environment. Yeah. Where that's a problem with a lot of FromSoft games. Not nearly as bad as, like, Bethesda games when you go into yeah. third person. You mean when you glide across the ground? It looks like you're, it looks like you're in, like, a fucking, um, what is it? Hamster ball? No, I, that, or you're on, like, a treadmill. Yeah. In like a fucking in like a room, and there's just a three a green screen around you to make it look like you're moving. Yeah, like in f any Bethesda game, when you go into third person, it's like I'm not moving. The world moves around me. So, My favorite Bethesda thing that I learned was that in whichever Fallout, th Fallout three, three or New Vegas three, Fallout, I, th I th it's the Fallout three Broken Steel DLC. The train, the train that they just yep. they put. One it's just the, a person with a train for a head. Yeah, they put a broken tram on a person's head, set the body's walk speed to 500%, and then hid them under the ground and just had them run. That's a great detail. Yeah. And you never notice in the game. It's funny. It's, yeah. it's very funny. It's like literally them making their bullshit work. I love I love my Demon Souls here, notes here really quick, which is still no release window, which is surprising. There were rumors that this was going to be a launch title. Oh, it oh, like an hour later, it was announced as a launch title. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> also, this was one. This was the one that said uh, for sure. They said at the bottom, it's like also will be released for PC. That's not true. Yeah. Yeah, and then at like an hour, also an hour later, when they said the release window, they were like, "Yeah, no, that's that's wrong. That it's was a fuck up. It's never PC. coming to anything else. This is PlayStation only, baby." Well, they keep. I was watching Inside Gaming's thing on it, and they keep claiming that they're like using industry terms and like industry way of speaking, where it's like there is no further plans for any other releases, and it's like okay, yeah. so there's a possibility of plans. Demon Souls though has always been PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. So I don't think there will ever be any. It anywhere else yeah and like this is the only one there that's not really cross-gen it's not on multiple consoles it is a, it's not it on is PC. a full remake 
And it's a full remake. Yeah. So after this game comes out, um, when we could get some Elden Ring news? <laughs> well, this isn't even by From. This is by Blue Point. Oh, is it? In collaboration with From. This is okay. This was their next title after doing their bang up job at Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, but also that, that gameplay, as someone who plays... That's great. Uh, but the thing is, no, the gameplay looks good. Everything yeah. the way it interacts. It's the way the person controlling the character went about it. Yeah. He, like, wait... Dark Souls is one of those games where you, like, wait for an enemy to attack you. But when it's a small bitch baby enemy, like those fucking random hollows... I don't know what they're called in Demon Souls, but in Dark Souls they're called hollows. Yeah. I'm sure it's the same thing, because also Souls shit. He waited for those things to attack. He could swing his sword and hit without getting hit. So that was pointless to show off blocking. The next enemy, he, like a stronger enemy he fights, yeah, block that one. But then there's a part where he two-hands. I'm assuming it's a dude. They two-hand their sword and then blocks like that. That is the dumbest shit in the world. Blocking with your sword takes up more stamina and there's more bleed through. Like, is take, that how it works in Dark Souls or Demon's Souls? It's how it works in every Dark Souls. But perhaps in Demon's Souls it I works different. I don't think different. so. Why would you have a shield then? Because there's still the weight thing in Demon's Souls and in Dark Souls and all of them. Why would you equip a shield if two-handed blocking with the sword, which when you're two-handing a sword, you do 50% more damage. Yeah. If you're blocking and it does just as much as using the shield, why would you use the shield at all? Oh, maybe he chose not to use the shield so he could do more damage. I think it's just them showing off that you can, that it exists that it, it's still in the game. I'm sure it, that was actually just a, a gameplay test where they were like, just run through and make sure everything works. Maybe they just thought, oh, this looks more cool in the trailer. It was, yeah. It's just a bad. It's just a dumb move, in my yeah. opinion. And then when they show the boss fight, showing off like the blocking and when you get hit, you slide back. That's good because yeah. it shows off like. Again, maybe the guy, maybe the editor doesn't play Souls and saw that footage that was taken and was like, oh, this looks sick. It'll look great here. Yeah. Well, it looks good. Regardless, it looks good. It's just a minor hang up as like a person who plays those games. Like, like you mean you're doing like what I do whenever any fucking person says, oh, that's Arkham combat. And I go, that's not fucking Arkham. Yeah. Let me just, it's, yeah. there's no rhythm based. You're not jumping across the screen. Well, Arkham you're Kombat's just punching. Not super rhythm based, but it's not mash. It's not, it's, it's not combo based. It's, it's rhythm. It's more rhythm based. Like you only need to hit a guy once I guess. most of the time. You know what I mean? And then you're popping back and forth. It's okay. not, you don't hit the same person right, multiple so times. So next. Fortnite, still Fortnite exists. is coming to the PS5, and honestly, they already announced this. This is as dumb as putting a Destiny ad and a GTA 5 ad. Yeah. Oh, you mean the games as a service are coming to the next service? Wild! They didn't put an ad for Marvel's The Avengers, another game that was confirmed to upgrade itself to the PS5 version at PS5 launch. Yeah, anyways, that this was really dumb, and also they didn't show off anything new. It's just them saying Fortnite's going to be in the game. It's Fortnite. Yeah. Next up, we got the PS Plus Collection, which is a, a new benefit to the PS Plus service. I that wrote gives this access as PS, to some PS5 enhanced sizzle reel. Uh, no, this is specifically PS4 yeah. games that you can download to your PS5 at launch if you have a PS Plus membership. For no extra cost. For no extra cost to your PlayStation Plus membership. But hey, there's a, there is good games there's in there. There's some fucking fantastic games in there. Like Bloodborne. Like Persona 5. Perso- is it just Persona 5? It's Persona 5. All right, don't bother with that one. Just go buy Royal. Um, well, hold on. Persona 5 on its own is great, and it's free. But Royal is $80. You're right. Pick up Royal on a sale. Yeah. Wait. Or play this. Play it. Look. You're not missing out that much. I think I think a lot of the gameplay enhancements for Royal... Kasumi is a boring character. Okay, I'm not talking about Kasumi. I'm literally talking about the way combat works. It's just so much better. It's yeah, like there's minor some, they're minor, minor The fact that guns go from being a thing that you can only use... Very occasionally to something you're using all the fucking time. Hell yeah. yeah. And then, but then it's like, oh, down shots is going to be in- invincible. Yeah. But then they change it so down shots can only be used three times on one trip. Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, get those in, in I don't remember. 5R? Probably not. Did I didn't you beat do that game. the tower, the persona for that. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't max out any personas when I. I'm not done with game, beat, but I, I didn't be wrong. I literally just have to play like a couple, like two more hours, and I have the platinum for that game again. Yeah, because I I did a perfect run. Cool. I I should have done that. Honestly, yeah. I should have just fucking got a thing and did it. But it just it's less fun. Also, Uncharted's there. 
Yeah. God Uncharted of 4 is great. God of War is not good, but who cares? That's a, that's, I think that's just... You don't like that combat style? Yeah, I, it's it's less good than the old but God of Wars. P- God of War won like a bunch of fucking... Well, this because they went from being fucking Devil May Cry to Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah. So I get... Because I know you like, like Devil May Cry. I like both of them. I kind of want to play... Does George have a physical copy of God of War? Uh, I don't know. It was... It's usually cheap, and it will be free when the PS5 comes out. Yeah, but I had to pay for PS Plus. You probably I mean, already PS do. Now. No, no, PS Plus, not now. Oh, I thought it was PS Now. It's, no, it's included with PS Plus. PS Now is going to have tons of games. This is only 12 games. Well, I got enough to play. I'll just wait. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, and then they announced the price and release date for the PS5. $500 and $400, depending on the version. American, of course. Yeah. Here it's more. Uh, and it's available November 12th or 19th, depending on your region. Wowee. And me and Ian pre-ordered it that night because I found out that Best Buy in our region you had them up early. It, not even that night. It was like 10 minutes after yeah. the fucking thing ended. You te- you didn't send me a link either. You sent me a message. Yeah. I sent him a Snapchat of me grilling my dinner having just bought the PS5 going, hey, PS5 is already up on the Best Buy website. Yeah. So it was I supposed then, to go up the following day. Uh, yeah. Here, I actually, I got news about that. Yeah. Um, people were giving Sony shit. Because they said it was going to come out. It wasn't supposed to come out on, what was it, Tuesday? What yeah, Wednesday. The, okay, Wednesday. It was supposed to come out Thursday Working night for pre-orders. Working nights fucks up my whole concept oh, totally, of days. Like, so, it was supposed to come out. It, they announced it Wednesday. They said the pre-orders were going to open up on Thursdays. Mm. But Walmart and Best Buy yep. and everyone else was like, ha, no. And they launched their own pre-orders. Yeah. The day of. So then Sony was like, oh, no. And then they pushed, they pushed theirs out crashed their servers yeah it was really hard to get on best buy and walmart's page not in canada though not in canada one try for me and i fucking bought it well because best buy and walmart and all those people put them up early in america in canada it was just best buy yeah oh okay so the rest of them put them up on thursday yeah so i fucking went and i or like you sent me that message i literally just went to best buy dot i went pre-order pre-order ps5 best buy and it was like the first link and i went in bought it yeah um disc or no disc uh, disc. Oh, yeah. Because I like, I use my PS4 as a Blu-ray player. Yeah, and this is actually something I don't already have because it, they, it plays 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, oh, which I don't well, have. Well, I don't have a 4K. You know what? I think I might buy a new TV when I move. Yeah. Because my TV's like... Well, Ian, when, not, when both of us aren't unemployed, we're going to get a I'm not unemployed house. right now. What? Well, you, you will be shortly. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to get a boy's house slash apart slash condo. Con, probably. Condo. I don't know. I think... I think it's gonna be much better for me when I move, because <laughs> I don't. I, my pro- you know what? We'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right. Maybe I don't know. I don't know where my life's taking me right now. Hey man, wild. you're gonna have to leave home at some point. Why yeah, not do it with a boy's house? Sure. I don't know. I have no objection to that. It's about the money, but hell yeah. Um. Then God of War Ragnarok, who cares? They should have just said God of War 2 2021. Because well, like, it's not God of War 2, because it's already getting uh, called whatever. God of War 2. <laughs> it's probably called God of War Ragnarok. It, no, it definitely is. It's like Ragnarok is coming, and then we can see like, the axe, and they also said Sony Santa Monica. Actually, I think yeah. they just call it Santa Monica Studios. Yeah. But like, just fucking say... just they, You could have just said... Like, you know how when fucking Nintendo showed that actual real in-engine Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, which is not its real name, we just keep calling it that? Yeah. It just says at the end, a sequel to Breath of the Wild is coming soon. Yeah. And that's it. That game's not coming out until 2022, though. Hell yeah. No doubt. Like, we're not even getting fucking Smash characters right now. You think they're making a fucking Zelda game? They're not. They're too busy fucking (laughs) stealing money from people with bad ports. (laughs) Hell yeah. Anyway, Nintendo Direct Mini Partner One showcase. second. I just have yeah. one more thought about the sure. PlayStation 5. This is just, you know the song they played at the end? Yeah. Where they like, re- you know, they always do it at the end of conferences where they just show their, yeah, everything little, they show. There's a little, little yeah. sizzle reel there. Yeah. Um, the closing song? Yeah. I'm sitting there and the whole time. It's I'm the like, Travis Scott song from the Fortnite trailer, But is here's it not? the thing. It just sounds like Can't Hold Us by Macklemore. It does, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair... And I'm sure that song's great. in 2012, that was definitely used to close at E3. Oh, certainly. Yeah. That song's great. <laughs> I I didn't know that it was a Travis Scott song. I just wrote, this closing, so, this closing song sounds like Can't Hold Us by Macklemore, but it's not by a white guy Thrift anymore. Shop is great. Macklemore's fine. He's just kind of... His music is fine. He himself is just kind of a dick. Sure. 
He's I like, don't know anything about the man. He's like an art guy who was just like he made very successful like music really and got like popped yeah. off pretty quickly. My thing that I made fun of him for but was uh he likes to act like he's like high art and it's like bro you yeah. made thrift shop and a song about buying a fucking scooter. Like the song about buying a scooter is great though. It's fun. I think Macklemore's more of a fucking comedy writer sometimes. Yeah. But then he also has like things where he's trying $300, to three hundred dollars. That's a hell of a deal going down to. But That's then so he's good. also taught like the fucking uh, what was it? He had that one song. I think it was like with Schoolboy Q. Where he's like, when I was in the third grade, I, I thought, thought that, that I was, was gay because I could draw. And my uncle was, and I kept my room straight. Yeah, and I was just like, okay, like that's. I feel like he thought he was being deep, but I'm just like, man, come on. It kind of felt like the fucking um, the gay well, my marriage favorite- support song from fucking uh, Pop Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what it's making fun of. Yeah, that's because there's gay. A, there's a lot. It's like because I could draw. My uncle was, and I kept my room straight. Uh, I told my mom, tears rushing down my face, and then she said, "Ben, you've loved girls since before pre-K. Mm. Trip it." <laughs> yeah. So where it's like I support gay marriage, not gay. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I like, there's also there's like, a cracked video that does the, the exact same the, bit. Fuck, who was the other fucking one where uh, it was like an older Lonely Island video where it was like them. The spring break one? The spring break, but then it was like them getting married. <laughs> Cr- <laughs> Get, Just, getting married is fuck. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's like cr- crush or no. Getting drunk on brewskis, doing jello shots, crushing pussy, marry a man. <laughs> yeah. All right, I didn't write any notes for this because it was like two things and I don't yep. need that. I did. Yeah. So guess what, baby? Let's get it in Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. Monster Hunter Rise is announced for the Switch. Comes in March. It's a new mainline Monster Hunter. Apparently it's fully open world, features rideable dog pets, and is a Switch exclusive. Yes, this is a... Pretty much a direct sequel to Monster Hunter World. And it's running on the RE engine. Really? It looked more like Monster Hunter World's shitty engine. No, it's on the RE engine. Okay, this game looks better, though. Not just because of the RE engine, because it still looks like the... Mo- That's what I'm saying. It looks yeah. like the Monster Hunter well, World engine. Well, that, because that engine is essentially like the precursor to the RE engine. Yeah. Because so, they cross over. You can tell because of the DMC5 thing. I actually said to my like fucking one of my friends... I might even just been you. Fucking, I was just like, do you think like the next Monster Hunter is gonna be fucking in the RE engine? Because it would look great. Yeah. Because Double May Cry looks sick, and yeah. uh, Monster Hunter also looks great. <laughs> well, Did this new one, yeah. but it looks more like they're still going for the Monster Hunter art style. Yeah, but but this one looks better because it's less like the old one. Yeah. They kind of went with more like trying to make the characters look like their faces look real and like they over animated everything but then this one's just like nah fucking whatever bright colors and shit hell yeah also grappling hook which they absolutely stole from freedom wars and tokiden the grappling hook is in monster hunter world but the the way they've implemented in, in this one they implemented a little more stylishly and a little more easier but in monster hunter it's that you aim with your uh fucking it was your slinger but then it became your clutch claw and you could shoot a thing, and you could swing on these up uh, on bugs. But these ones look more like free, like bugs so just this, flying in the air. The other so one the way like this one works is it's actually just it will attach to almost anything. It's just a when it's they a put jump out button. Monster Hunter Iceborne, World Iceborne. Yeah, they uh, they changed the name of your grappling thing to a clutch claw, and now you can you could grapple, you could fucking like go to the monster and like do moves on them. But then they also just, it's like kind of this, it's, it's been in the game. Sure. You can keep saying they stole it from something else, but it's something that's been in the game already. Yeah. No, they stole it from the 2014, uh, PS Vita. So Monster they stole Hunter. it from world, from world, stole it from a previous game already. Yeah. But the, the way they're implementing it in rise where it's actually essentially a jump button that allows you to latch onto lots of stuff is a freedom wars and Tokiden thing. I don't think there will be a jump button. No, it's replacing. It's doing the function of a jump button. Whatever, we gotta see how this game plays. But anyways, yeah. the armor looks better. It looks like they're going more cartoony again, which is good because the realistic armor in World sucks ass. But because this game was announced, Fatalis is definitely the final update for World. Yeah. And when after Rise comes out, they're mm-hmm. probably gonna do a year or two of updates for Rise. Yeah. Leaving World out in the dust. Yeah. And then World 2 will probably come out. Almost certainly, because this is a Nintendo exclusive. Yeah. 
but fucking Rise. If it, I'm buying it for the Switch, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it twice like I did with World. So yeah. fucking, it looks good. There's mo- since it shares similar things with the previous engine. Yeah, there is a Toby Kadachi, which is a new monster from World. That's in this game. Yeah, I think it's probably going to port over almost every monster that's in that's, World, like they do with the, the handheld old ones. ones. Monster Hunter, like three and four, or at least four. And generations, yeah, yeah. Every single monster was in the game. Yeah, I think they're doing the same here. Yeah, but this is cool because, like, this is for the Switch people that didn't get World. Yeah, and then there's also new monsters, like the four they showed yeah. off. They showed off a few new an ones. Elder yeah. Dragon, which I think is the final. one. I think the open world thing is cool. Well, Monster Hunter World was open world. As no, well. no, this one's actual open world for the first time. There's no loading between zones. Okay, one second. Do you mean I mm-hmm. can walk out of the base camp into the into the world? Yes. Okay, then that because I would because Monster Hunter did make the transition with World. Yeah. Where before uh, Monster Hunter Four Ultimate, which was the one before. Yeah, world. You, the different zones of the map, you'd have to load between them. Yeah, it was very short, yeah. but still it was like it, the monster would run away to different zones. But then in World, it was like you land in a point and then you can go throughout the entire map. And they have like five or six maps like that. I can't remember. But then... so And then Rise, they're doing the same thing. But here's what I noticed. Yeah. They added something different here. World, you can only go in the paths they say you can go to. Rise, you clutch claw up a mountain. Yeah. I think that this game is going to be a lot more vertical. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. But then also, on top of the vertical shit, they're definitely using the high... Because when every fight that they had against a monster, I could see, like, a rock wall behind. I think it's going to look like more, like, classic monster arenas. Yeah. Where in older Monster Hunter games, it was, like... I also just like I, I like I like the caverns. I like the setting. I think it's like a really fun it's more the Japanese. village. Yeah, it's, like it's a it's a very it's like ja- it's more Japanese than World. Yeah, I asked Anthony, who is a Monster Hunter veteran, if this is the most Japanese it's ever been, and Man, he was so like, he was like, no, no Monster Hunter two. I don't think so. I think he said three. Damn it! Yeah. I knew it was one of those. I thought it was the I thought it was the PSP one. I think 3 was on the PSP as well. 3 came out for the Wii. Yeah, I thought 3 was the Wii one. And then it came out for the PSP later. Damn. All right. Now for now for a real game for real gamers, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin is also announced. This is, the first one was a Monster Hunter take on a JRPG Pokemon thing. And this looks like more of that. Except would, now that the if, now the monster designs are real and good. What do you mean real end? They were chibi in the first one. Oh yeah. This one they're still kind of chibi-ish but more yeah. like I got like a I'm sure there's other games I could use a bit differently, but I've been mo- It looks like Breath of the Wild style to me. It looks like Pokemon Sword and Shield. I no, it looks better than that. You're right. <laughs> Pokemon. It's Sword got and the Breath Shield. of the Wild style of uh, of cell shading. It's yeah. cell shading in that Breath Which of the Wild style. Which is a good look. Yeah, I I really like that look in those games. Comes- I think there's. I now honestly, I knew stories existed. I didn't know this is what it was. Yeah, the game looks very fun. Anthony showed me. Uh, there's a monster called Kuyaku. Mm-hmm. And the, you have like these special sync moves, like kind of like, like where you. Uh, it's pretty much like, hey, I just want to do a lot of damage to this monster really fast. And in for Kuyaku, it's that he's like staring at the monster, and then he sees these like three things on the ground that he loves to eat, and he goes like, he starts to, he goes like, ooh, eats them, and then he gets a blush on his face, yeah, <laughs> like ooh, I'm enjoying this shit. It's like he ate like three really nice meatballs. And then the hunter on the back, or their partner, whatever they're called, like yep. slaps them in the back of the head like some slapstick style. Yeah. And he like coughs them up and they're like fireballs and it goes That's and great. rains down. So the game like, it's very childish and fun. Yeah, it's it's Pokemon, but Monster Hunter, and it's got more of a story to it than Pokemon does, you know? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately for Pokemon. Yeah, I was like... Well, it's well I would say good. the more recent Pokemon. I think Pokemon Generation 5 has like a really good, good story. story. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah, this is like a Monster Hunter themed Dragon Quest slash Pokemon. Uh, comes next summer, it's also Switch exclusive, and uh, supposed to have some kind of connecting content to Rise. Ooh, it's oh, yeah. probably going to be like, you buy this game and you have Rise, you get like a special charm or an item or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fitness Boxing 2 exists. Fitness boxing? You remember fix- fitness boxing? Nope. Well, now they made another one. Oh damn! I'm yeah. happy for them. Uh, Disgaea Six 
Uh, do you like Fire Emblem, but wish it was more anime and more stupid and goofy? Disgaea 6 is for you. It's a Switch exclusive, and Disgaea 5 is going to be free for a little bit. Uh, it's a, If you don't know Disgaea, it's a comedy anime-themed TRPG. And in this game, you play as an undead zombie who the more times you die, the more strong you get. It's a fun... Well, I want to just kill myself game. immediately. That's the point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the the did you not see the trailer? The battle damage goes into the trillions. I didn't see it, and either. your level goes into the hundred millions. No. Uh, we, weirdly enough, though, some new info told us that the game is only Switch exclusive in the West. And in Japan, it comes to the Switch and the PS4 day and date, which is fucking weird. That is weird, right? Yeah. I think. Well, do you know Monster Hunter World? Yeah, is on the Xbox. Yeah, but not in Japan. Yeah, but that's because Monster Hunter World. Whatever I'm just saying, whatever yeah. localization company they wanted to hire, or maybe it's like an who makes these games? Is it Capcom? Capcom uh, makes Disgaea as well. No, no, no. Uh, Disgaea is Nippon Ichi Software. Okay, so maybe Nippon Ichi has like a localization team for the Switch. No, no, no. It's Nisa. It's N I S A. Okay, maybe they're just not. They just don't see they the value in putting to. it on the PlayStation. Nintendo. No, Nintendo paid this. This is a. This is a money. This is a money oh, transaction. Who cares? <laughs> okay, so Nintendo got one in exclusivity. Yeah, it's literally more work to make it exclusive. Uh, Empire of Sin is coming to the Switch. Don't know what that is. That's the. That's the uh, gangster theme XCOM made by John Romero. It looks okay. <sighs> okay, so Empire of Sin. Yeah, I don't know. When they, sh- when they first showed this game off, I was like, I don't really care that much. I don't really like sure. XCOM, though. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, obviously, then you won't like the game. Yeah. I don't uh, like RTSs. Do you want to hear some news I just got on Twitter? Sure, what's up? Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bummer. Yeah. How do you... Yeah. That sucks. That's really shitty. Uh, didn't she just you, retire too? No, she was still going. They were like, oh. "You go till you oh, die." No, you work till you die no. as in the Supreme Court. Fuck. Hopefully, Trump will be like Obama and be nice enough to not select the new. Uh, He's not a new Supreme Court justice until the next guy gets no, their shot. No, we're gonna get another fucking Republican shithead. Oh, great! Then we'll only have one. Uh, one Democrat. liberal. Yeah. One liberal fucking judge left. Uh great you love to see it folks. damn rest in peace <laughs> r.i.p to a, to a real one um that was like the only like the one i don't know whenever uh saturday night live was making like jokes about yeah i always thought those were like this is funny because like, an old woman just like be like fucking oh the notorious rbg yeah yeah i don't know it's just like that was a character, you know, when they do like their political jokes, it's like, ooh, this is coming around a place of like disrespect and going like, ha ha, look at how dumb they are. But then with like, our, it's like you're making fun of this woman by being like, she's so badass. Yeah. She's gangster. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. I'm going to actually watch for the basis on the basis of sex at some point. Mm. I swear. That's also a good one. Isn't that like her, it's like her whole thing. It was like her most famous case where she fought for a man's yeah. rights to have, yeah, have the kids. Yeah. That's what it, that's what it was. Cause it was like, we need these like sort of gender stuff in the, the legislation that you can't discriminate, but yeah. you know, the men make the rules and it benefits the men. So mm-hmm. you have to find a case where sexism doesn't benefit men. And that's where it was. I think if a ju- judge has ever, if you, if a judge has ever given the death penalty to someone, then they are not allowed to be a Supreme Court justice. Yeah, I don't sure. know. That's just I don't even know if anyone on the Supreme Court right now has said that. I'm just assuming they are because they're all white. Uh, there's not a lot of places left where the death penalty is legal. Yeah, Bible Belt. Yeah. I actually don't know where that is. I just assume it's all the states in the middle. But it's I think South. that's wrong. It's the South. There's a, it's a belt, it's a belt where it's like you cut off the country right here. Oh, so it's like, so Texas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Texas, Oklahoma, Florida is under there. Louisiana. Okay. Not California? No. Would Nevada be in there? Because isn't Nevada like right at the bottom as well? No, because not the entire south. It's like the south, not west. Because the west coast. Okay. Is is less bad 
for it. I mean, obviously, like, Los Angeles, everybody knows nobody there has a religion except for the money. Except for Scientology. And Scientology. Yeah. Uh, Sniper Elite 4 comes to the Switch this holiday. This is a weird thing to have a trailer oh, for. Oh, 4 the game's is not part of the years. Bible Belt. It's not? Yeah. Then I'm misunderstanding what the Bible Belt is. You're kind of right. Yeah. Or is it a belt of states across the Alabama, country? Alabama, Arkansas, Arkansas, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Missouri. Arkansas, I do love my ma and pa. Not quite as much as I love you. Are you done? North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina. Why are they separate? Oh, because <laughs> the Civil Tennessee, War. Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, and parts of Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, New Mexico, Ohio. <gasps> Your boys. Your boys uh, are in the Bible Belt. No, I know. <laughs> well, not... Uh, maybe. Who knows? Comment, also the Midwest, comment below, which confuses me. Comment below if you're in the Bible Belt. And like this video. <laughs> for more. <laughs> leave a five-star review on iTunes. Leave, leave, a, leave a five-star review on iTunes if you've heard of the Bible Belt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, what else? Do we got anything? Uh, Battle in Wonderworld releases in March. It's also coming to Switch. Who's to, who knows? The game looks good. It's Sonic Adventure meets Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, I heard about this, but I didn't see it. The Switch trailer had a very low frame rate. Mm. <laughs> but the PS4 trailer didn't, so oh. I'm assuming it's because oh. the Switch is not Just good. a uh, yeah? thing I would love. Yeah? Monster Hunter for Smash. <laughs> Uh, yeah. More Monster Hunter content for Smash, you mean. Monster Hunter as a character would be really cool in Smash. Because you know there's already Monster Hunter content in Smash, right? Yeah, there's Rathalos. Yeah. And a map that's not really, but... They, it's one... It's a map for boss battles. It's totally. a... It, yeah. Um, but the, the Monster Hunter, I think, could have a really interesting moveset. And also, just fucking... You could just take certain weapons... Sword and, users. What? It's too many sword users. But Monster Hunter swords are different. Sword users in like yeah, but I mean that's what people said about Hero and uh, and uh, Byleth. Okay, but here's the thing with Monster Hunter is just what what I'm saying. The sword in Monster Hunter is not. Lo- I'm not. If they put the long sword in as the weapon, then yeah, switch axe the, only. No, switch axe. I would leave out. I would put in like the great sword the as gun. a charge move. The charge axe. The charge blade. I maybe. But, like, it would be, like, your neutral jabs would be, like, your short, like, the sword and shield, which is a very small weapon, actually. Like, it doesn't have an insane amount of range. If they don't put Black Panther in Smash, they're racist. <laughs> what? Because Black Panther was the other DLC character along with Monster Hunter for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that game's on, on the Switch. It is not. <laughs> okay. But, like... Your up B could be like insect glaive. Your in, for neutral B because at, too many characters have a bow. Just put like a light bow gun, and then if you charge it, transforms to like the heavy bow gun or something. Mm. You know, there's stuff you can do with all those fucking weapons. Palico assist trophy. Yeah, that'd be fun. Palico shows up for taunts, like how Morgana shows up for Joker's taunts. <gasps> You're right. Never mind. Palico shows up for taunts. You can also Rathalos <laughs> assist trophy. That's already in the game. Wait, there's it's a, an assist trophy too? Yeah. Damn, I didn't realize it, it was That was trophy. like one of the memes where people found out that glitch with like Isabel. Oh. Where like you could throw... You could put Rathalos in your bag? No, what you could do... It was like early like 1.0 smash where if you... Isabel can grab items with her side B. And if two Isabels went to grab an assist trophy at the same time, it would keep spawning multiple versions of it. Damn. So it was like... They hit it. I don't know. Then they got Rathalos, and it would be like Rathalos flies in, Rathalos flies in, Rathalos flies in, Rathalos flies in. That's sick. So then it got, but then it would get to a point where there'd be too many, and the game would crash. Hell yeah, yeah. Um, so that's what they patched out for that reason. <laughs> the cr- the gross monster that nobody likes. Put him as a sister. I don't know. There's a lot of monsters that are gross that I hate. Mara assist trophy. Else likes. From fucking Persona? <laughs> yes. Or the dick sludge. <laughs> yeah. The smegma monster. All right, move on. Actually, if it was... Oh, what if like that slime that looked like a dick from Persona and Shin Megami Tensei was hey. white? <laughs> or like a white, a whitish yellow? Or just... Uh... Just <laughs> smegma man. What if Mara... Smegman. 
What if Mara's move in uh, Persona uh, Shibuya Scramble was to shoot white liquid at you? Imagine fighting that thing in an action RPG is what I'm trying to imagine Ugh, here. Gross. Shadow of the Colossus, Mara. Gross. If you climb up it too You much. have to hold on to the veins. Otherwise you can't get a grip. Or no, if you... If it's, <laughs> uh, it's a... It's a... It's a quick shot. So if you climb up it too fast... It, it just explodes. It erupts. Yeah. It erupts all over itself. Yeah. I'm, we're saying that the monster is a giant dick, and if you fucking climb it, it comes. It's the only, um, it's the only immersive monster to fight in a video game. Because when you stab it, you physically move in real life. <laughs> okay. You physically go. Oh, <laughs> uh, my dick! Uh, it's so gross. <laughs> I don't want to stab a full penis. Uh, I'll shoot a dick. I don't care. No, but it's Persona, you use a dagger. You'd have to... Or Shadow of the Colossus. You have to climb it up, take your sword, and plunge it full deep into Ooh. it. Yeah. It's a Snapchat update. Is it ugly? It's just... Dumb. Well, Ian, we've got two more pieces of news from the Nintendo Switch Direct. Oh my god, there was this much and I Rune just... Rune Factory 5! Who cares? It's an action RPG harvest moon. Oh my god, who cares? Ori and the Will of the Wisps is going to be on the Switch. That's a game published by Microsoft. Wowee. Okay, it's a fun platformer. Microsoft's being good. And it's a great game, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's <laughs> a gonna, sequel. They're going to put Ori in Smash. Put Ori in but Smash. Ori's also already in Rivals of Aether. Put Ori in both games. Well, he's already in one of them. Yeah. All right, cool. That's put John Halo in Smash. Not, Sorry, that, put Keith in Smash. That... Jo that John Halo joke is just st losing fine. All Johnny Sevs, but Johnny Sevs. We decided that that is an appropriate nickname. The two of us together were like, I don't that's know. I'm kind of just getting over it. Johnny Sevs, even? No, no, maybe Johnny Sevs might be fine. But like, I was fucking listening to fucking Castle Super Beast. Yeah. And just every single time Pat said John Halo, I was like, I get it. You don't like Halo. Shut up. <laughs> become a sports ball situation for you kind of yeah where at least you at, but here's the thing you played through halo 1 despite not liking it mm -hmm. you played through halo 2 enjoyed it a little more significantly more even yeah pat has not <laughs> all right so i'm just sitting there going like please shut up i don't want to hear people make fun of things they don't like forever yeah we're like your john halo thing is just you saying because you think it's funny but when he says it i'm like oh god leave it alone all I'm saying is, if you hate something, just move on. Say you hate it. Get on out of here. Well, well the reason why is because Willie's playing it, so he has to talk about He's it, He's not right? playing it right now, though. Well, he was. Well, he was, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I oh, think... I have to talk about it with this person. Oh, yeah, actually, the the, the topic... I've, is... st I've stopped making fun of Destiny because it stopped being fun to make fun of Destiny. Yeah. And also, have you seen the meme? But do you remember how many weeks in a row I said that the best part of Destiny was the website that has the story <laughs> on it? Yes. Yeah. And then I was always like, Nathan, it's in the game now. It's in the game now. <laughs> no, but um, what was it? You ever see those fucking meme, the, the meme where it's like the dude with like the fucking like smirk going like, ha ha, this game's bad. And then the other guy going, no, on my Destiny shit posting group, someone was like, it was like Destiny fans and then like this game fucking sucks. <laughs> And like it was the Chad face, and then on the other side it was another Chad face saying, "I know," <laughs> <laughs> because I do know Destiny's not that good of a game. I just like playing it. It's Play one of those Marvel's games, The Avengers. It's, it's the better Destiny. Nope, no, it's not. Destiny is a peak games as a service. Where coming into Destiny right now, you're literally stuck in the middle of everything because they're cutting out old content now. Which is dumb. They should have put it as like a separate download for yeah. your game. I have not played Marvel's Avengers in a while. I need to finish the story because the story's great, but you it's should. just like... You should also take every single character and walk them into Thor's room and try and pick up the hammer. I haven't got, uh, gotten Thor back yet, well, but yeah. I saw the scene actually where Thor comes back because I fucking... I watched that one video. I wanted to... Because they said the clickbait of is Captain America worthy? So I watched like the first one and I think it was Black Widow and none of them actually nudge it. Yeah. Like, you know how it is in the movie where it yeah. does not move. But then Captain America walks up 
And when he, because I wanted to see them go through, so they go through everyone. No one can move it. Kamala Khan can't move it. Kamala Khan can't move it. Not at all. Not Damn. even a budge. But Captain America goes to move it, and he does kind of drag it a bit. Like it does lift off, but it's still too yeah. heavy for him. Like how it was in. They in, do the same bit as Age of Ultron. Yeah, except all separate, and you don't get Thor there go for a minute going. Oh. So you mean it's less entertaining? It's less entertaining. It's more of just a fun Easter egg. Yeah. But you could do it with every character and shit. So, like, I don't know. I think it'd be funny if they actually made it so Cap just fully, like, lifts it off the ground and then just goes like, oh, <laughs> just drops yeah. it. I think, yeah, I think it'd be more funny because in, in Age of Ultron or whatever, they retconned it that it's Cap could have fully picked it up, but yeah. he chose not to. Or what they do is he goes to fucking pick it up. And, and he, he just picks, picks it, it up, up fine. No, he picks it up. He like goes to like put a lot of effort. And he like swings back, going, "Whoa, it's lighter than I thought." Yeah. And th- they spawn Thor as a character in the doorframe, going, "What? <laughs> oh, Rogers, what are you doing in here?" <laughs> he actually has a really nice, like, little cozy little space. Yeah. Oh, but then when Thor goes to go pick it up, he does like lean down to like looks like it's going to be a lot of effort, and then just like scoops it up. <laughs> My favorite moment is. Uh, in Age of Ultron, again, that's a movie I am kind of an apologizer for. Uh, I think I'm an apologizer a, for that one scene. Everything else What about sucks. later in the movie when they call it back and Vision just picks it up like it's nothing? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a great moment. Everything having to do... A lot of the stuff they do with Thor in Age of Ultron... Yeah. Is like... As, well, Thor, not him trying to like move forward the story. Because isn't that when he goes to like the yeah, weird... Yeah, he has the whole has the fucking vision. pit thing. Yeah, which that kind of sucks. Everything else is good that scene's only in the movie because feige said to joss whedon if you don't put the scene of thor in the pool figuring out telling what happens in all the future movies then you don't get to have your scenes with hawkeye on the farm and joss whedon's like that's literally the emotional center of the film The hawkeye farm part is like the best parts too yeah it's the emotional center of the film there's a lot of good parts it's just that a lot of that movie sucks like i think james spader as fucking ultron's really good i love him as ultron's good it's just Wanda kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Quicksilver kind of gets taken out like a bitch. I, I see. I like that plot line. Him and Hawkeye have. Yeah. Um. I don't know, there's just there's things I have problems, but overall, yeah. it's like there's like minor problems. I'm not saying you have to like together. it. I'm saying I'm saying for me personally. I'm just saying my feelings on yeah. the movie. I'm not trying to say Nathan, you shouldn't apologize for this movie okay. or like shit, because I can get why you would like this movie. I kind of like it more than the first one, if I'm being honest. I'm, you know, I think I'm gonna rewatch, start rewatching the Marvel movies. I think part I'm, of it is that while I, I think the first one, uh, the first Avengers, is really smart in terms of its color palette by yeah. just allowing it to be a cartoon. Uh, I think the second one has a lot, uh, has a much better cinematography. I've even been, though I don't like the color palette. I've been as much. watching. I, I've just been like, well, I was falling asleep. I threw an Iron Man. The first one? Yeah. That movie's great. Oh, I've seen like parts, so I skipped to the part. I was like watching it with my sister and her boyfriend one time, and they like got to the part. They shut it off like right before he got into the fucking suit of armor. Wait, which one? Iron Man 1. No, no, which suit of the armor? The first one. Wait, right before. The they cave. watched it for 15 minutes, the, is what you're telling it was, me. Actually, it's like 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay, sure. It is like a lot longer than you think, but still yeah. it's like exciting enough to watch. Mm-hmm. But then they shut it off and I'm like, come on! So then like when I just... You literally watch the movie, Tony Stark, terrible billionaire, gets kidnapped and then didn't finish the story. Or maybe they finished it. I just left because oh. I had to go do something. So I went, I, I was like, whatever, I'm going to start the movie from that point. That yeah. first scene where he's like in the Mark One Iron Man suit Hell yeah. is very fun. Yeah. Stupid as fuck. Very fun though. Yeah. And then when he makes the fr- when, uh, the process of him making the first suit, Tony Stark built this in a cave. Yeah. Or with the, a bunch of scrap. The first Iron Man suit, like yeah, the I good know. looking one. And then like he f- like all that shit looks really good, really fun. And then his first flight. And then when he goes on like a revenge spree and fucking for like some people, and he goes and kills literally kills people yeah just like in the, in the first scene like in all the mcu movies they do yeah, murder how the fuck it's like tony stark is fine with doing murder it can do murder he gives if Peter batman Parker- does murder though i'm upset <laughs> uh that's one of the things i hate about the mcu is how casually they kill people but also how and the mcu is very much like does a lot of like hey guys the government's not that bad <laughs> 
and then they made the government bad in Winter Soldier, and then no, they lost their U.S. No, army. they're like, hey guys, th- no, every fucking MCU movie's like, hey guys, the government's bad. Didn't they lose it for Winter Soldier, but then got it back for um, Iron? No, no, no. Well, they do. Yeah, no, the army's good. The government's bad. In every in uh, every Marvel movie, the government's bad in fucking Iron Man two. The government's bad in Winter Soldier. The government's bad in Civil War. Uh, the government wasn't that bad in Civil War. It was more like the government wanted to put litigation on them. Yeah, the government's bad, just like how in Ghostbusters the government's bad. Yeah, uh, the government's bad in Justice League. <laughs> Justice League never mentions no, the but government. No, I, I more mention Young Justice, but like that's oh, also you, not a different property. The UN, yeah, the UN's bad because it's all there government. are bad people. It's in all it. governments that don't have like the, whose leader isn't like a direct descendant of the fucking one of the team members. Well, okay, actually, Garth, or no, what the fucking Aqual, Aquaman's boyfriend? Oh yeah, yeah. Is yeah. he the UN representative? No, no, no. That's that's Lagoon Boy. Lagoon. Lagon, yeah. Lagon's the U.S. representative. I yeah, feel like UN I didn't see him at all. He's only in the two U.N. seeds. Huh. Same with it's it's him and uh, Troya. Yeah, Troya. Uh, yeah, but she's like, well, everyone on the Amazon islands like related somehow. But yeah, yeah, they all look the same. <laughs> I don't know if they're related. I think they all look the same. Yeah, Amazons just look the same. That's about it. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So, I like how the movie Wonder Woman is like. Men aren't needed for sex. <laughs> They're well, bad at it. <laughs> wasn't it's like she was uh, Wonder Woman was like their first child that was actually born in a long time. The other ones were yeah. actually created from clay or something. No, she was supposed to be cre- created from clay, but, she but was, they just don't have children. They just live forever. She's Ares's daughter, isn't she? It turns out, yeah, she's Zeus's daughter. She's yeah, she's related to one of the gods. Yeah, well, all the gods she are related. Is, well, Ares is Zeus's son, so her and Ares are half brothers. Okay. Half, half siblings. Half siblings. <laughs> so, like, yeah, like everyone else was like created a long time ago and have just lived there forever, probably fucking each other. Oh yeah. And like, there, but since there's no war inside of their area, it's like they would never lose their numbers, so they never had to make new people. Yeah. Until yeah. the men showed up with their fucking World War One pieces could, of shit. And they, and they died. Like twenty of them died. Yeah. Yeah, including the most important one, her aunt. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. But her mom is back in the movie Justice League. Do you think her mom had been queen the entire time? Or do you think they like rotate yeah. who gets to be queen? No, it's, she's queen. She's Hippolyta. It's like, you get to be queen for 50 years and then this one gets to be queen. No, Hippolyta is the queen. Okay. Maybe they swap names. <laughs> Whatever. Dumb sure. Joke. Uh, but yeah. Was that... We were talking about MCU... Because you watched Iron Man. Yeah, so we're in the weeks. Uh, yeah, I guess we just rotate it, went into those. But yeah, I also did not finish it. I got to the point where he goes to the party uh, and he dances with Pepper and he makes her uncomfortable and he doesn't know why because Tony Stark's becoming a humanitarian but is still not a good person in this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm really not looking forward to watching Iron Man 2. But What I do guess you mean? You don't like it. reading Atlas Shrugged? Oh no, I was going <laughs> to bring up the fucking skipping that fucking... <laughs> Whatever his name does. Does Rhodey do skipping? No, no. What's his, what's the villain? The guy who plays the villain? Oh, Sam Rockwell's great. No, oh, no Whiplash. Sam Whiplash. Whiplash, who is played by... Uh, I don't know. Oh, Isn't God. That what's like that guy's the, name? The like, red... The Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke. I almost said Mickey Rooney, and I'm like, I know that's wrong. That's the different one. Be yeah, close. That's a racist. <laughs> well... At the time, everybody it was, okay. was. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mickey Rourke, where he's like he's like beating up Iron Man on a fucking track. Le Mans track. Yeah, but um, and Elon Musk was there. Elon Musk is in Iron Man too. Yeah, yeah. and he starts like to pr- approach him while he's like after he like hits him a couple times, he just starts like doing skips. <laughs> oh well, he's like yeah, he's hitting a bunch of shit. no, but it, like it looks, looks like, like he's skipping. skipping where he's just like ha ha ha, I'm yeah. enjoying this. Yeah. Uh, but Sam Rockwell's great in that. Sam movie. Rockwell's pretty good. But then also when they embarrass him later on when they show him like trying to make his government version of it and they like snap a man in half. Oh, that's a great fucking moment. Yeah, because they embarrass him. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's also where they replaced. That was Don Cheadle's first one. Yeah. Also War Machine gets to come in. Yeah, because Terrence Howard is like he looks at the Mark II suit and goes next time. Yeah, but doesn't he also, Iron Man one. But then like Terrence Howard was like, "I want more money," and they're like, "No." Yeah, we'll <laughs> replace I, I, you with a much better actor. Yeah, 
Not as big though. Like Don Cheadle looks really skinny all the time. Yeah. I think that, but uh, whatever. He's but he doesn't like, need to be. He's like a higher up in the military, so yeah. it's not like he's active duty. He's probably like he probably works out. But Terrence he's not Howard there. looks more like what the character is on paper, but Don Cheadle's version of that character is so like. Yeah, I, yeah, I did not in the entire like every interaction that Tony Stark and um, Rhodey have in the first one. I'm like, these guys aren't friends. Yeah, these are like dudes who like were friends when they were younger, and then and grew I think apart, that's because then they, Robert Downey Jr. and Don Cheadle worked together a few times before Iron Man two, right? I think it's just that they. It doesn't even. I don't even think it matters about that. I think they just vibe together better. Yeah. Because there's people who have never worked together, who like just sometimes they come in and there's like this is amazing, this is awesome. Yeah. I saw this fucking clip from some like news like thing where it was like some weather lady out on the fucking uh, out on like in this field just talking about how she's like we were hoping to see some horses. They're in like. Australia. Yeah. That was awful. But Chris Hemsworth is just there, and he just like walks up and starts and like starts talking to her. And he's not Mike, so it just looks like this dude is just in the background going like. And then she turns around and goes like, "Holy shit!" And then he walks up and just takes the mic and he's like, "I'm out here with my family, just we're trying to see some horses. Actually, you can see a bit of them down there." And it's just yeah. like, imagine you're doing your fucking job, and yeah. Thor just shows up. But anyways, I would love an interaction like that in fucking, like, Thor Love and Thunder. That'd be great, yeah. Or maybe, like, you know, he's been off planet for a long time. He hasn't talked to Jane Foster, but now he feels like reconnecting. Mm -hmm. So he comes back in. Because we know Love and Thunder, Jane Foster is also going to be Thor. I feel, yeah, I I really think it's going to be she finds, like, a shard of Mjolnir. No, because remember, he's got the cooler one. No, but I think... It, he's going to remit, keep his axe. Yeah. I think she's going to find a shard of Mjolnir and it's going to like do something to her or the it's only, going to like reform or something. My like only shit. issue is like we have that moment in Endgame that's really good for Thor's character despite the fact that Infinity War fucked his character arc up but Endgame has a good moment for it which is like he gets the hammer back and he goes... I knew it. I'm still worthy. Oh my god! Like I thought I failed. War fucked up what they set up from Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, and then Endgame brought it back to a different area. Yeah, yeah. Endgame, Endgame's much better to the to his character arc. But there's the moment where Except, he can wield Mjolnir, and he's like, "I am worthy." Do you ever see the um? You ever see the Tumblr shitty movie details? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Endgame, they, Endgame, Avengers Endgame shows that Marvel really. Th- Fat Thor shows off that Marvel thinks that uh, eating disorders, uh, and mental having- health, and PTSD are funny jokes. Yeah. Which I, is I accurate. I don't know. I like. I didn't really take it as a joke. I kind of looked at it like, I'm sure like that's what they were intended. It's like, ha, look, it's funny. He's like, this big tough man is now a giant alcoholic and he's yeah. fucked up. But I was just like, wow, it's, this was like a really self-confident like confident man. The, the, is, again, even though is portrayed as a giant meathead because he's Thor, he's probably not as smart as Tony Stark and Bruce Banner, but he knows more than everyone there. He's a god. He's lived for fifteen hundred years. Yeah, and he has. He knows about a lot more of space. He understands when Bruce Banner is talking about space nonsense in th- Ragnarok. No, he knows the thing. He just knows it differently. They're like, it's an Einstein Rosen bridge, and he's like, it's a, it's a big hole. It's, yeah. it's a hole. But in he the sky. understands what that means when he says all that stuff. It's just that he is using Earth terms for that. It's just that Thor's like, hmm, okay, <laughs> sure. Like Thor's not stupid. We're gonna go through the big hole. Because he's a the simple, devil's anus. He's not stupid, but he's a simple. You man. mean the devil's anus? I didn't know that's what it was called. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we not, still need to go through it. <laughs> yeah, but I would. I'm. I'm going to stick by. Thor's not stupid. He's simple. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't feel he's the a, need to talk down. Where like Tony Stark and Bruce Banner will go on their nerd rant and then talk down to you for not knowing about quantum physics. Thor was sitting there like, I understand it, but you're being a dick. <laughs> I understood about thirteen percent of what you were saying, Stark. But because you were using human words. <laughs> How about this, Stark? Anyways. I've got a good, good, good explanation for you. It's fucking magic. <laughs> no, that's Thor's whole perspective on it. He's like, it's magic. How does this magic work? Like this, and he just explains like it's a bridge. Theory. It's made of a rainbow. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Yeah. Come on. Oh, Einstein, it's a fucking rainbow. 
oh, Heimdall controls it. He can see everything that happens at once. It's How very simple. How can Heimdall simple. see everything? Fuck off, it's magic. It's very simple. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Thor's like always been one of my favorites. Even when, even like. Even the, when he was a less interesting character. Even when he was bad. I was like, God, I like this dude. That you even liked him cool. when they dyed his eyebrows blonde in the first one? I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I hate how he looks entirely in a, a in Thor, Thor one. 1 and in Avengers. Because his hair is fake bleach blonde. Yeah. And his eyes are bluer than they ever are. And his bl- uh, eyebrows, which I know blonde people, that's not how no, they ever look. That's only in Thor 1. They didn't blonde, They didn't do the eyebrows blonde in Avengers 1. Regardless, it's still bad. He doesn't yeah. look great in Avengers 1 either. Also, his like hair is like very slicked back. Yeah, it's not the right kind of it's long. Like, it's like Avengers 2 and Thor 2 nails the look better, I think. Thor but Thor 2, 2 is a bad movie. Thor 2 has the look down. Avengers yeah. 2 really cements it. Thor yeah. 3 is like... Perfect. Amazing. And then onwards. I like his design in that. He looks fine in Infinity War. He yeah. looks fine in Endgame. I do kind of enjoy... like the, Just the little thing about like in Endgame when he's like fat Thor. Yeah. But he doesn't. When he gets his power back, he doesn't he immediately revert. Yeah, like he still the armor still bulges out around his gut. Yeah, like I thought that was good, but because it implies that yeah, even though Thor is the god of thunder, he can eat and drink all this like garbage. Yeah, he can't instantly fix himself. Like he's stuck like that now. There's this whole thing Until in the comics that I think is. I hope they do a little bit of for Love and Thunder, even though it's about him not becoming worthy anymore. Uh because, yeah, I think in the comics, it's like he does some kind of murder that makes him not worthy anymore. I think, you know, okay, the giant axe. Yeah. That probably follows a different set of rules. It doesn't have any rules. It it's does. It's just an axe. You can just pick it up. Oh, yeah, because even fucking Cap just takes it immediately. Yeah. So the axe uh, has is a conduit for his powers. Yeah. But... Uh, it's very strong. A what if Jane Foster gets the hammer back in four, yeah. and he goes to pick it up and he can't move it anymore. Yeah, so it's like that'd be good. Yeah, well, that's the that's the plot. Is he does a certain kind of murder, and like it makes him no longer worthy to be Thor, but he can still use the the axe. I think it's gonna be he accidentally murders an innocent or something. Yeah, well, I think or like he does it thinking that they're bad because maybe like my time my the thing that I think it might be, up. I think it might be um, that he has to sort of kill somebody in an unworthy way. What's the time? We're at just about two hours. Okay, we should probably pick it up because we're yeah. not really talking about weeks at all. I don't, but yeah, I'm gonna say he does some he kill, he does a murder where it's like he just hits a man from behind that is like way weaker than him. It's gonna it's probably it would probably be like an accidental murder or that that like he did he didn't intend but it happened but it was his fault. Yeah, and he's not and maybe he tries to justify it the whole where like the say they start him with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, they go and like Rock is just like you murdered that man and. Uh, uh, He's just, like, denying it. I've never murdered a man in my life. I've what? battled many men. They've died to in the honor. death. I've never murder. And they're just like, no, you you murdered that man because you caused a building to collapse on him. And he's like, he should have moved. And it's like, he literally was standing there and a rock fell and crushed him. <laughs> like a whole building. And he's just like, it's not my fault. <laughs> I, yeah. Don't live in buildings. I, live what, in huts. What did you do? <laughs> Uh, live in palaces <laughs> live in- that are well constructed. If you were living in the new Asgard in Finland, you all the houses are one story. They cannot crush a man. Still could, but whatever. Go on. <laughs> what would uh, you do? Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, the Batman Arkham games. Yeah. Because I dis- apparently decided to put all of your time in them. 20 hours into Arkham City yeah, this week. I, I saw. <laughs> anyway... Man, fucking Arkham City is a great game. Am I right, fellas? Sure. Um, let me just. I so by the way, first thing I did was I went back and uh, beat Arkham Asylum again on Tuesday, uh, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I beat it on hard mode, skipping all the cutscenes, uh, which is cool. I'm gonna wait till Ian gets back. All right, hard mode, all cutscenes. Go on. <laughs> okay, hard mode on Asylum. Skipped all the cutscenes. Then I booted up oh. Arkham City. Arkham City is a fantastic game. I, re- I I continue to say what I have said before. Arkham City has the best story of the three. Asylum, the best world and uh, and level design. And Night, the best gameplay. Uh, but City is incredible. It's got a fantastic story. It's got a great world and setting. It's 
story actually has something interesting to say. Its ending is brilliant. I'm not going to spoil it because I know Ian's going to go through those games at some point. I'll get to. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's just fantastic in every way. It's got a great opening. It's got great gameplay. Everything flows better. Just flying around the city just feels so fucking good. Like it's perfect. Not perfect, but it's a great game. Cool. I played a new game this week called Beats Per Minute. Oh, no, Bullets Per Minute. Oh, I've, I've seen a picture of this game. It is a roguelike first-person shooter where you cannot do anything unless it is on beat. The beat is a very simple beat. Oh, like Cadence of Hyrule. Yeah. Well, Cadence of Hy- Hyrule, I think you can still move. It's just that it negatively affects you. This is like if you're not on beat, you can't shoot, you can't dodge, so or like use your sprint shit. But there's also, there's beats and half beats, so you can do certain things on half beats, but you, the fucking game, it's fine, there's just, like, the gameplay's fine, there's just some issues, like, the saturation is fucked, like, you, all the enemies you fight are orange, and the world around you is orange, and everything you do is orange. And it's like, okay, this sucks to look at. Oh, Later, so the, the color Yeah, the, the color fucking choices are bad like if the world was grit like if a lot of it was like green or blue or fucking gray and the enemies were orange fine the later on levels like level three it starts to it changes from orange but the first two levels suck to go through and the you just the gun they start you with has no fucking range it is like a small clip and does no damage so you just need to replace it as soon as possible it's just that's like they need to fucking make that gun better or I need to unlock another character so I can start with something else. But yeah, I have no rhythm. Game's tough, but fair. Cool. Yeah. Speaking of tough, but fair, I also, it was my birthday last week, uh, and I got Ring Fit Adventure. Yeah. yeah. And that game fucking kicks your ass. It does, yeah. It's rough to play. <laughs> it's great. It's How, a great game. Did it's you beat, very fair. Did you beat the first boss? <laughs> Yeah, I beat the first two. Yeah, I get real tired. <laughs> so I have not even got past the first boss. <laughs> I'm like halfway through World 3. That's fine. I don't play it that much. <laughs> I was trying to play it every day, but I, I haven't been. No. Um, That's good. It's a good exercise. Yeah. It's a good game. If you can get it, it's fun. It doesn't judge you like We Fit did. Yeah, where Wii Fit's like, what, you fat bitch? You haven't gone on in a while. <laughs> well, when you, mi- when you gain weight, the Wii Fit makes your me fatter. But also, when you play fucking Wii Fit, it would like... um, It would just straight up... Like, this game is like, you just enter in like your height and weight, and it goes, thank you! And Wii Fit, it's like, height, weight? Wow, you're fat! <laughs> yeah, and it's well, like, the BMI overweight. is actually a, a flawed calculation. Yeah, so... Yeah, Ring Fit's cool. Uh, I should play it, but also my set, my room setup is just not good right now. Because, mm. you know, I have to fucking prepare. I had to take fucking take down my VR. Oh, I yeah, had yeah. to, I, I had to, I, my PS4 is all packed up right now. Oh, you're moving that soon? I'm moving in December. Oh. But here's the thing. Uh, we have to sell the house <laughs> before we move. Yeah. So it has to look show ready. So, so you can tidy up the room while still having your PS4. My PS4 would be hidden behind my TV. It's really not that worth it having it out because uh, I'm not even using it right now for anything. Mm. I have my Wii, my Switch still out, my Switch. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because I'm still playing like Breath of the Wild right now, and then Mario All Star 3D Mario All Stars just came out. Yep. Yeah. So like you know, I still have that. My mom wanted me to literally disassemble my entire room and move everything to my sister's house. And like live in her basement for two fucking weeks. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not moving my entire fucking computer, which is a full ass setup with like, key- like keyboard and mouse. Obviously, I got fucking dual monitors on a mount. I don't even it's not like I can just pick up the monitors and move it. I have to carry this whole fucking like 200 pound thing. And I'm like, fine. I'm, I will do literally anything to just keep my computer where it is. Yeah. Yeah. So moving sucks, but. What are you going to do? I've, I've already done it 11 times, so I can do it again. That sucks, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, 11 times in the same fucking town. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, so what the fuck? Yeah, I just can't. Like, I could play Ring Fit, 
But I think it's one of those games where if your Switch isn't oriented in the right way towards you, the, it gets like fucked up settings. Uh, it's not. I usually do it right here. So I'm like kind of angled at the where TV. Where is your Switch? Uh, I, I moved it upstairs. But why do you... Well, I moved it upstairs like two hours ago. Oh, okay. Like or whatever, longer ago than that, but today. Today, okay. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> I moved it upstairs because there are two people living in this house that really enjoy Mario 3D All Stars. Mm. You should get the. I ordered this fucking thing off of Amazon. It still has not come though. The second, a second dog. No, because that's a hundred and fifty dollars. I ordered a thing. It was like twenty bucks. It is like an HDMI to USB C adapter. Yeah. And I looked at the reviews. Apparently, I can just plug this into my Switch. And just plug that into the TV. And then just the Switch sitting there. It'll work. Like on oh, TV yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. So it's essentially like what the dock does, but in an adapter. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, especially when we go to, like, fucking Blake's house. Hell yeah. Who doesn't have a Switch, but we go there to play Smash a lot. And no one would ha- I would just have to bring my Switch and that cord. Yeah. Shit, that cord would be difficult to plug in on Blake's TV because we literally use this hanging HDMI cable to use his shit. Yeah. Yeah, so. Cool, so let's talk about Mario 3D All-Stars. Yeah, uh, I don't like Super Mario 64. It's a bad game and everybody should feel the same way. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page about this. It's not a bad game. I don't the have camera. Nostalgia. I I don't have any nostalgia for it. I didn't play it as a kid. I the did play it The first time I played it was the 3DS version. Oh, you mean the DS version? Yeah, that one. So like Mario sixty four. I, I played it for the first time as a kid. My parents had an N sixty four when I was. I born. also had an N sixty four, but we didn't have that game. It was a launch title. That doesn't mean we would have it. You still have to buy it separately. Yeah, I guess you're right. And it, the when the only reason why we had an, a sixty four is was because it com, it was a combined effort by my older brother. And one of my sisters can't remember which one. Mm-hmm. They pooled their money together as like a sixteen and like he was my two the two oldest. So maybe it was a sixteen year old and a fourteen year old to buy a switch. No fuck. N sixty four. No, no, they went to the future and bought a switch. No, yeah. to buy an N sixty four and then they came home with it with like I think Goldeneye. Oh. Which because I was a, gonna say it's at, a multiplayer game yeah. and there was four of us. Makes sense. At launch, there was only two games for the N64. Yeah, so they bought it. Mario 64 and Pilot Wings. Yeah, they bought it from fucking like the Walmart over on near my house. Yes. And we came home. They plugged it in and shit. I was like, cool. I played a bit of it. I played more of the SNES than the 64, to be honest. Yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, we had that. Oh, you played the 64 version where all the songs were 30 seconds long. Yeah, but I don't remember that shit at all. (laughs) Because I was a kid, I was like fucking yeah. five. My yeah. attempt, I credit it, my first game I ever video game I ever played was either Mario three or Pokemon Red. Probably Mario three. Yeah, probably. But we also had like you know I had I have three older siblings and they had games. They all grew out of it though as like teenagers. So as soon or like even late teens and shit. So as soon as they were done, they just handed them to me. And then I got video game consoles later on. They were like, hey, I haven't played video games in like 10 years. Can I try them? I'm like, no. <laughs> this is my thing. Being the youngest means you're a little shit sometimes about that. Yeah. But also my family is prone to break things. Just like I am. I'd rather break my own shit. I don't want... I was like... I told my sister she could try my VR one day to like play Beat Saber and shit. I don't trust her. <laughs> Yeah, I just saw a video of fucking. There's a person in your family, for example, that recently broke a brand new thing of mine. What? You ripped an envelope of secret. Oh Hitler. fuck off! <laughs> that was I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was drunk. The envelope was a piece of paper. It's not like it was like f- fucking hard shit. And also replaceable. In fact, I accidentally bought a bunch of al- <laughs> fucking envelopes while I was drunk here. <laughs> You actually, you were like, I, I'll buy a repack, a refill pack. Yeah, so I bought you 500. <laughs> <laughs> I went to cancel it when and I got I, it I literally said, don't buy it for me. So, Just okay. stop touching the broken one. Here's the thing. I went home, was in bed, and I was like, that's dumb. Why would I do that? <laughs> Two hours after I did this, 
I hit cancel on Amazon and they said your pe- your request is pending. And then I got then I woke up the next day to an email from Amazon saying, "Yeah, apparently they already shipped it." I'm like, "In two fucking hours?" <laughs> oh, fuck. So yeah, I have those. <laughs> That's great. They were like 20 bucks. That's so great. Yeah, so now you can have multicolored fun ones. <laughs> But they're supposed to look identical, so you can't tell what cards are in them. Ian. But if they're, you just swap them up, I guess. Yeah. Are there regular Manila colored ones? I think there's like yellow ones, or okay. I don't know. I didn't really look that close. Okay. I just looked and I'm like, yeah, this fucking thing, <laughs> <laughs> fucking taking my money, Amazon, you shitheads. Anyway, let's talk a little bit about Mario. Yeah. Okay. So Mario 3D All Stars. Um, I don't care for 64 in every sense of it. 64 okay i'm not the, the i'm not that level of rough. hatred with but 64 has a lot of great things about it it's just not a good game i got to the first bowser fight like i i can understand why people like the game it's just that there's things about it that i'm like i like the 100 percent things so yeah. like i'm on like the first level and i'm fucking playing through it and then it's just like i got to a point where i'm like i don't want to play this anymore <laughs> this level anymore and then i went to the next one and i went to the snow one which is actually the fourth one the snow level fucking sucks. So then I played that. And so and does then, the, but the water level. I got enough to... Oh, and then I went to the fucking like floating one where you fight the thwomp on the top. The thwomp one's good. Did a couple there. That's a fun level. Went and it was like, oh, is the other one dry, dry docks or whatever? And I went and looked in, saw it was, and just walked out. <laughs> the, uh, dire, dire docks. Dire, dire docks. So then, but I had enough to go fight Bowser. So I just did that. Got the star there. Went to the basement. Start started down there, and I'm like, I just don't care. I don't like any of these levels. Yeah, um, so I, I, I like out. I like a lot of Mario 64, but definitely I do have some nostalgia for it. But yeah, Mario 64 DS is a better game. Yeah, but also that game also didn't have a good control. Of Much camera. better camera. It, hardly. You tr- no, you trade the better camera for the worse control. Okay, well. So I went and opened up Sunshine, which is a game I also never owned. Sunshine is the best game in that collection. Disagree, but that's also nostalgia because I did play Galaxy. I did not own Sunshine at all. I owned Galaxy. I didn't own Sunshine because I didn't own a GameCube. Yeah. Uh, yeah Sunshine removes it, removes crouching the long jump for spray water on ground, do dive attack, which uh, your attack has been went from being the punch kick combo to just a dive. Which is good. I, I don't I don't It works in this game. Yeah. It's fine. And um, and the spray water do damage. Yeah. So you don't need any uh, any of that. Also if you just spin and start spraying it just Yeah. yeah. I, I think the level of control you have in Sunshine is extremely high. Yeah. Uh it's just some of the fucking things that's just rough. I actually do. Oh, there's stuff in Sunshine that isn't good. I'm not telling you that. Yeah. It's just I like Galaxy a lot. Like the but- fucking oh, what's the du- the first one where you fight the blooper like twice? Yeah. Uh, uh, that area when they were like climb the scaffolding that's everywhere. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I fell like five times, and I'm like, I hate this so much. And then I also got the rocket nozzle next to the last like the like the final yeah. tube. So I'm like, maybe I have to use the rocket nozzle. So I equip it immediately, fall, and I'm like, let me see if I can just boost back up. Close to that, you smashed your not. head. What you smacked your head is what happened. No, I couldn't even just get up high enough to smack my head. Damn, like fully charged. I'm like, this sucks. So I'm just gonna any mission where it's like you have to use the rocket nozzle, I'm going to be upset about. <laughs> yeah, um, again, so I'm not, I'm not saying Sunshine's a perfect game, but Mario Galaxy, I feel like. Have you played it on the 3D All Stars yet? I haven't played it on 3D All Stars yeah, yet because apparently it is like a but like it's the one that's actually a remaster well people are being stupid like straight up here's the conversation about it that people are having which is just dumb people are like you mean it's just emulation yeah it's the only way to perfectly recreate it well all emulation is 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 making one computer work like another computer that's what you want from this kind of thing if it was if the re, if it was remastered and they changed elements of it significantly, people also would have been pissed. Yeah. Also, it's just to to do a full port slash like remake slash whatever is way more expensive and time consuming and never is accurate yeah. inherently. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, and uh, and also Galaxy is like a half remake. It's a remaster. Yeah. It just looks better. But I just, I think I'm, I like Galaxy more. But 
well, well maybe I don't. Who knows? But Sunshine mm-hmm. right now, I like it enough. I just went. I got to Mecha Bowser. I did. I actually, even though I had problems with it, I did all the shines on the fucking blooper level. Can't remember the yeah. fucking name. I was working. I skipped the fucking first. Uh, the I, you know the first place where you fight PD Piranha. Yeah. I was on that whatever hill something, and I was on their secret zone. Yeah. And it was like cool. Go fucking over. Uh, go. Uh, you had to run super far get to the area but i kept going in with like one or zero lives no oh. so and that's one of those games where if you fail you just die and it restart starts you yeah the it's, it's the group chat about the game because it's nine o'clock and emma sent me a fucking clock being like you're late yeah uh let's let's just uh finish this up then but uh the thing i like about sunshine is i prefer the ones with the multi-stars in the level that are designed to have multiple goals and i feel that like while galaxy does have that it's a significantly more linear galaxy yeah Galaxy's, straightforward well, and I, like, I just don't think it should have multiple things in its stages i think in some sunshine stages you can go in and be like yeah i'm here to do this but the red coins are also here or some shit like but, and then like Mario 64 is like every th- or like half yeah. of them are available and you can get them completely out of order. Uh or like and then you fucking like I got red I got red coins and uh Thwompy Boy not Thwompy Boy. Uh Chain Chomp in the first level like done immediately. Yeah. Yeah, so but then I couldn't get the cap because I had to get 10 stars so I could fucking look in the thing and then go unlock the cap. cap. But like the lo- lo- that I really like Odyssey. <laughs> like Odyssey's the re- best one. And retroactive, like this game is making me be like, yeah, Odyssey's a better game because it's like there's they they remove the live system. Yep. Like let me fail, throw me back to a checkpoint, but I don't have to waste my time. Mm-hmm. Like yes, it's easier, but it just lets me it, easier is not always bad. Easier, so, but then also you could it can be easier, but you can also make the objectives harder. Yeah. Because now I'm not fucking failing going back to a low, like the title screen. And when you get a star or a moon in Odyssey, it doesn't put you back to a hub. Although, like, hubs are nice. Don't get me wrong. They're but fine. There's no hubs in Odyssey. It's just all the worlds. Yeah. Um, And, like, yeah. And there's just tons of stuff. And you can, whereas, like, every level in 64 has, like, seven stars or whatever, except for the secret levels, which only have one or two, mm-hmm. depending. Um, you know, like Odyssey, every level can have a fucking completely different number of stars. O- Odyssey does have a problem, though, where it's like there's a bunch of worthless moons. Like, they're worth the same amount, but it's like, oh, let me just fucking find this nut, jump on that three times, and then I get it. And it's like, haha, the star is like, bust a nut. That's funny. But, like, I like the old, I like Galaxy and Sunshine and 64 because it's like, you got this many stars per level, go for it. I would like Odyssey's way of being like, like here's 10 moons per level as opposed to their fucking 900 here's 10 moons you go fucking get them and then you're done the level you can do them at once like if they they kept red coins let me get all the red coins yeah but then also let me collect the 100 coins or let me do like these other things let me do the secret level but don't kick me back yeah i mean i i'm I personally prefer Odyssey in a lot of way. I prefer the hundred million stars. Um, I don't know. I, I I can see why. It's just personally I don't. Because it gives you that dopamine rush more frequently, Ian. But it's the dopamine rush becomes bad, like not worth it after like the third level, where it's like, yeah, I'm I'm getting the moon. In fact, it feels worse when you're like running around a level that you uh, don't have any moons and you like can't get any. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to switch them more frequently and then I, come back. I just like the clear objective stuff. Yeah, like I don't. I'm I'm not a huge fan of fucking um. Like, hey, do whatever you want and you'll win or whatever the fuck. I like objectives. I like linear games. I like open world games, but I like it when an open world game has an objective. Oh, me too. It's just I feel like for me, Odyssey is like everything's very clearly telegraphed. Yeah, you're never uh, uh, like it's not like it's not like a Far Cry three situation where I remember playing that game and seeing the map and there's a million things to do. And I was like, oh, I feel nothing about anything. Okay, Well, I'm not like 
I'm not saying it's the reason why like I that. didn't like Far Cry 3. It was like, there's too many things to do. Yeah. I was like, why would, there's no clear stuff. But uh, I think I think there's such a clarity. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I just remember there was a thing when I played Among Us this week. Um, there's a there's a problem right now. Uh, I don't think we've played since then, or maybe maybe we have. I don't know. Well, you have to like, we went to like a Europe server. Yeah. And then we had to take to let people join the game. We had to make it public. Yeah. And then, was yeah, that when we played? Private. That was last time. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah. yeah uh, we'll talk we're, more we're, about we have to go next week when we play more. All right, peace out, guys. Yep, uh, right. Oh, if you want to follow the show, <laughs> youtubecom slash s comedy. If you want to follow me, I'm at the media hole on Twitter. I'm at the media hole on TikTok. I'm twitch.tv slash the media hole. Where I think I'm going to try to start streaming the last remnant soon do because it. I'm hyped for FF16. Actually, do it this time. I want to. Yeah. Unlike the last time, where you're like, I'm going to start streaming, and then you didn't. Yeah. Well, no, I did stream uh, Ace Attorney for a little bit, and then I stopped. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to try to do that. Also, my Tumblr is when your balls get sucked to your like .tumblr.com. Change your name. Uh, Ian, you can find him everywhere at Struggles V. Uh, he recently got in trouble for tweeting a picture of Chris Evans' dick. Uh, thanks so much, everybody. That's, have a good night and good luck.